hello everyone good evening to each one of you right now who are watching on youtube channel of uh gambling and this is your one of your shout caster tonight this is denim 78g and with me here and, uh hi guys this is tom sober sky and we will be joined eventually later on after game number two by uh ants dave of at the boot camp so uh all right so here we go guys here we go so we got here already okay look at the plane path is just so straight almost so straight it's just uh from east to west so that's just it so anyway we got guys already dropping okay so this oh uh, imagine these are all professional players by the way these yep, are exactly. professional players so we'll see you guys uh let's uh check here right now uh let's go to our uh last year's champion we we are here on pcg these are the champions mm -hmm. of uh during uh the last year's game links tournament okay so we yeah. are currently at uh milta how many teams um do we have here in we back? have uh wait up you zoom it out in let me check out here again oh let's go here to some some things happening one guy was okay oh, oh coming from oh lost he was lost yeah. from armory gaming just knocking one guy of the lost freeze the lemon is down okay let me check it right now we got lost oh why it moved from this to this oh my goodness and lost is just he's currently lost oh <laughs> he's the only he's the only guy right here and we got here yeah uh, junks uh what's his junky birds and he, mm -hmm. oh that was a good technique oh man that was a very awesome <laughs> technique that what did junky bras just uh, did a while ago and uh looking that here just a quick tour of the map and we got guys who are actually in milta we are kanka mm -hmm. of pcg or poseidon let's uh, go these guys okay. really need so, uh... some, something here yeah we got like two teams yeah we got two teams inside milta and there were shots going on for for the bru who just passed by the guys of uh oh it's like somebody's crossing below just on the shorelines of milta mm -hmm. and meanwhile actually general esports is uh eliminated as of the moment whoa yeah ge is it g yeah this is gabru got here gbru mm -hmm. beds mm -hmm. and uh and ghostly actually is uh sh shutting at someone Maybe he has just spotted one guy of PCG. And look at what is PG, PCG is doing right now. Get right here. Doing some a little mm -hmm. bit of rotations and getting more information. And look at this. Konkoi is really getting some information. But that's, that wasn't accurate at all. That shot to that house. I think uh, no one is there. He might be just thinking that someone is actually on that spot. But we don't have yep, any guys. Doing some random shots. Yep. So we got only teams and no movements so far. But look at that. There was oh from Armory Gaming, going back to Armory Gaming. Okay, we got here. Oh, Armory Gaming are pushing on the location of EGA. They are definitely gonna be pushing on here. Agent Ant is actually doing his rotation, and I uh, just wanna know if someone is inside this compound and we got their ega but they are now moving away are they moving out and so let's just see it for a moment guys okay, by far ega is now going away from this area are they gonna go here what are they gonna do here anyway what really so let's just check our map okay so uh, that is okay. why. Yeah, they're gonna uh, they're, that they're gonna take question. the uh, the boat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they're now moving, and Armory mm -hmm. Gaming is gonna be 
there's gonna be an encounter between Armory Gaming and uh, Nexus Play. I bet because Nexus Play are also going to this uh, part of the area. Ooh, look at that, guys. Ooh, Armory Gaming. Oh my gosh. It was so fast. It was killed from Abdul Jakol. <laughs> uh, we can say Abdul. Abdul, just Abdul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be me. I'd be. That would be good already. Now, uh, Gabru. Meanwhile, uh, Gabru. I think Gabru is coming from India. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're from India. Oh, oh look at this! Uh, crossing the bridge. We have, uh, somebody here is gonna. Gate keep the bridge or gate camp on the bridge. We have BRU. Buriram United. Do you know about Buriram United? They're qualified for the PGS for Berlin. Oh, oh yeah, okay. This team. They're qualified together with uh, team number one, which is uh, team mm -hmm. Kirsten. They're also qualified. And I just noticed that uh, there's only like three of them right now uh, oh, um, in the team. Uh, as per looking uh, on your stream. I think... Uh, not much of engagement, but uh, these guys are really good of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Gaming is their life. They're professional gamers, by the way. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, like their passion. Yeah, that is that is so true. Now going on mm -hmm. this part of uh got here, Divine Esport. Mm -hmm. Look at these teammates. They're actually onto tailing with one guy of Armory Gaming. You have Divine Esport Namsi. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep, that's AG Nent. They're trying to follow AG Nent. Nent yep. This one. This one guy. Mm -hmm. By the way, we're um where is uh Nent's teammates? Is it like far away from he, uh from him? Yeah, actually all of his teammates are kind of too far from him, but they're just a uh, a bit far from one from one uh compound to another. And I actually think no one really is uh going at them, but let's go back here mm -hmm. at the area of DIC Gaming and BRU. You got here DIC and okay. BRU are on engagement right now. They kind of split apart. All of these guys really are doing so well. Even though they're like uh, split mm -hmm. apart, but no one's trying to, you know, do some uh, unnecessary rotations, unnecessary uh, gunshots or anything. They just need the definite uh, information about e everything that is happening within the map or within their area of uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. I bet. That's the right term, I guess. But so far, VRU are kind of just here at the bridge. All right. Okay. Let me see it again. Our map is kind of getting closer, but not much of engagement right now. But let me check on our kill feeds or kill or survivors right now because uh, these are the only teams that are already in the game. And there were like one guy, mm -hmm. one team, right? It was lost mm -hmm. who got out mm -hmm. of the game. And we'll be back on. Uh, that, I am actually trying to monitor if whoever might have the chance of uh, an encounter. I mean, who's who's mm -hmm. coming into enter the way into their path or something like that. I mean, wow. Mm -hmm. And I just noticed here that all of them is really going inside of the circle. Yeah, uh, they definitely there's are. Gonna be like a, mm -hmm, they're going to be have like some engagement here on the top of uh, right side of Agatka. Right, right, right. All right, so just uh, look at that. Shots coming from Q confirm. But he was turning mm -hmm. his uh, turning out. Okay, he was making some yeah, shots and then Jayers. go back to where he should be, and then get the chat mm -hmm. again and mm -hmm. go back again. But look at this uh, between PNG. These are PNG and mm -hmm. CRS mm -hmm. are actually mm -hmm. too close. They are yeah, basically exactly. too close, guys. However, um, PNG is uh, trying to shoot some of the members of Game Home. Yeah. While uh, Jaders is 
shooting at game home uh also and try to take a look uh, on their team right now uh get... where they where jay's yeah they're really like far away from each other uh, i'm not sure if that's their plan um doing a spread uh, like that game home is uh kind of doing that rotation outside the map look at that crs and game home and look at this we're gonna mm -hmm. go on to c cgm mm -hmm. that was a network lag This is coming from Pashao, uh, CGM, Wolf. But he would, but CRS are just making the rotations around the circle. Meanwhile, the check here uh, at the middle of the circle, we have DIC Gaming. We got DIC Gaming Smell. We have J4L1, JJ Leo, and Anquan. They are, by the way, they are just uh, looking for any spot or anyone might be just inside mm -hmm. or within their vicinity. Mm -hmm. And look at that. We got mm -hmm. here, DIC Gaming. Smell is smelling something about Divine. He mm -hmm. did know that someone was really out there. Let me check on Divine. Mm -hmm. They're also looking at, you confirm, we got here, Levies. Mm -hmm. And shots fired. Um, I'm seeing here um, as well. CRS is uh, already going inside of uh, the zone, but I'm not sure if they're they're gonna go to the location where MSC. Yeah. Uh, at, at right now. So look at this. A CGM Wolf is actually pretty close with Game Home, but he's the only guy right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at their spreads, guys. Look at their spreads. This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And PCG, let's oh, get a check. Let's, let's uh, check on PCG yeah. and Boss. They're actually too close. This is Boss Gold, Pak Jat Bicep. And spotting, look at that. Dak Hughes is actually running just an open area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this. Uh, Nurman. They are all on two PCG, and that was a coordinated shot coming from the BOG onto PCG. And another one we got here, Nurma 96. And Pakjat mm -hmm. actually is also doing his shots right here, but uh, Kang Kanka is uh, going out. He is bailing out away from BOG. Yep. It was a push though, but uh, that that coordinated coordinated shot onto Dacius did well on. Uh, PCG mm -hmm. by the boss goal. Yeah, but GG well played for Dak Juice and he wasn't uh, able to be revived by his teammates because they right. really need like to, mm -hmm, to go out and bail out. I mean, yeah. GG and Wolf, by the way, are they pretty want to guard this area where they at? Look at this. Just want to take shots on anyone who's passing by them. Just saying that don't... Oh, someone's not here of MSC versus Q Confirm. So we got mm -hmm. guys kind of split up. Okay, those are shots coming from Q Confirm. Look at that. Gems 3 is already knocked. And we got here. JR's also knocked. And Gems 3, rather, he was already killed in the game. But we got... I'm mm -hmm. on a SVITT. So we'll... Oh, they didn't have the time to go on to their teammate. Meanwhile, Joman's O Zero Happy is now pushing. On our kill feed, we got Gabru killing NXP Narpim. And they are on attack on uh, AG. Look at that. Uh, we got here S C, -G C Gold. Oh, my goodness. Where did it go? Where did it go? We yeah, I'm looking at... Slide SLYDD of CJM Wolf. Also killing the guy of Q Confirm. So it's leaving only SVITT in the game for Q Confirm. And he is right now bailing away, going out. But look at that. We got here EGA. He's checking if someone is there. But on our uh, observation, or spec since we're spectators, of course, we know that someone's mm -hmm. there. But he mm -hmm. doesn't have any exactly. idea that someone could have been there. But, uh, you know, like, to be honest, I'm really amazed at, uh, with the formation of uh, 
sea uh, sea gold, right? Right. Right now, they're doing like the body uh, the body system as of the moment. Are they? They're divided uh, into two and two. Oh. PNG Soha T uh, is moving inside the zone, but getting shot by C game. Uh -huh. well, Let us try to see if he's if he's going to survive. Oh, I'm not checking it. I'm actually looking on it. Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Yeah, yeah, got yeah. A, a lot of actually is coming right here. A lot is happening, and for the guys who already crossed the bridge, going to the Sosnovka Island, actually they would really have the hard time right now to cross back to to the mainland because we got here guys we got pcg kanka i bet he is the only guy mm -hmm. no no we still have three guys for pcg i think mm -hmm. uh, they're below the bridge where they're at mm -hmm. i'm i'm also looking here uh let's try to check uh what's the update by the way um to the uh next play uh these guys are from philippines right yeah they're from philippines but uh yeah. they're actually abdul and manada was ph and they're just right about Evil. on this area where they have a big chance of uh, slowing themselves down. You know, they need to cross mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. area right mm -hmm. here. Oh, Gabru is eliminated. Who just, who's the last guy was eliminated by Gabru? There you go. We got a lot of shots going on. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, BCG. Over to that area. We're going to check here as well. Oh my goodness, two guys up. Oh, they just eliminated BCG. I was on feet almost. Dude. Oh. Boss Gold just uh, was the last guy who just killed one guy with the PCG. But look mm -hmm. at this, Boss Gold. Uh, the zone is actually killing them right now as of the very moment. And look at this, we got here CRS, troll game. We have two what? guys for I'm just Team Person. I'm just actually wondering why did they stay uh, on that area, like the BOG. Yeah, they were on to they because they, they know that PCG was there. So they were just getting that mm -hmm. information that uh, where are they located or where are they positioning themselves. Mm -hmm. So you just mm -hmm. they just want to know if uh, if it's already clear to go out or already clear to mm -hmm. get out of that island. But uh, what they did mm -hmm. is that they just stay there, just uh, mm -hmm. being patient, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. So uh, I can see here that the next play is really trying to play it safe. Yeah. Um, or I think they're also trying to uh, Actually, I don't like know what, check uh, where, where, where where they can uh, climb yeah, so they, they can go back. Uh, at least they're in, they're still inside the uh, the zone. We got yeah, shots. It's kind of hard. Um, shots connecting on two. The other uh, is eliminated, here. by the way. It was, okay. yeah, Bosco was elimin eliminated by the play zone. Mm -hmm. There's three, uh, like, gunfights happening yeah, right now. Yeah, uh, it's between DIC Gaming and Divine. Mm -hmm. And DIC yeah. to CRS and CRS to Some BRU. Some crossfires we as have well. Also... Some crossfires yeah. are now happening, guys. We got a lot of crossfires right now. That is uh, really mm -hmm. happening as of the moment. And everyone is just uh, kind of too close. It's like this guys of the AG, Armory Gaming, and BRU are actually too close. As well as uh, Next Play, Predators. Let me check on Armory Gaming. Are these guys are the only two? Yeah, they are the only two guys or two guys for their team. And we mm -hmm. have 11 teams yet in the game, guys. Mm-hmm. And they are not doing anything. I mean, we got here Armory Nent also checking out on his spot or in his uh, area of uh, scope. But he's not checking anybody. Oh. Let me check on the NXP. What are they doing right here? Okay. They're so no more to... just got troll game. Uh, I think knocked down. Because anybody can yeah, be onto them anywhere. And if they're if if next place is gonna be crossing the uh, crossing outside this ridge, it would really be an open area. Look at this; they're gonna be running right here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking right now uh, at Mananabas. Um, I think he's trying to maybe wait at least uh, 
for the teams or for someone or Ooh, team DIC. to be killed. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. I'm DIC, I'm DIC. I think, I think they're pushing. Oh, mm -hmm. I think they are pushing. They're going to be pushing on the guys of DIC and Divine. Look at that. Check out this at the very moment. Look at this. We got DIC and Divine. Mm-hmm. Oh, PNG is roll. Oh, oh, now eliminated. That was a good shot coming from BIC JJ Leo. Oh, someone is mm. inside and they don't know yet. Oh, oh, but it was a two man. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. It was a retaliation, oh, though, but. Oh, my goodness. It did connect there. So, two guys <laughs> of DIC are already knocked. And JJ Leo is actually going for a push, running onto his teammate, and he might. You know, there might be a chance that he can still revive his teammate right now. But I don't know. He's still waiting. And we have we are receiving so many gunshots, especially with us S with a CGM just come from Game Home. Game Home is also receiving those shots, receiving those damage from Allens. And now we it will be between Easy Hub and Allens. Throwing that grenade, frag grenade. Ooh, one guy is knocked here. Of just, oh my goodness. Why is it shooting at yet? Maybe waiting oh for the other goodness. team. I think he's trying to clutch. Well, he uh, was, the situation, he was however. Yeah, he was actually trying to clutch, but you know, that was it for the uh, mm -hmm. game home. But uh, I, I, I'm thinking that he's trying to bait uh the down player yeah uh however it's it doesn't came up with the expectations yeah he wasn't expecting anything of it and then there you go yeah. boom things happen well he knows a uh, united knows that someone is here with the crs on that uh little shack but he's the only guy here for the bru so it's gonna be dangerous for him whenever he gets that shot and someone might spot him or somebody from another compound like what we have here we have armory gaming his share pro and uh armory gaming nent let me check so these guys of the bru and crs are actually crs are actually inside the circle but armory gaming and bru don't know here look at this mm -hmm. We got Noir, Noir Dra. Okay, Noir Dra. But Armory Gaming are now going inside. What was it? I just. What happened to Next okay. Play? I haven't um, seen them. Uh, actually, um, I tried to check them a while ago. Uh, um, however, they got um, like a situation with. I think it's BOG, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken. Because the, and yeah. the last player, Manadabas is the only player left, oh. and he got grenade by the enemies in oh front of my. them. So there's a lot of grenades. Yeah. So GG well played to next play. Yeah. But what really happened there it was the the location that where they're coming at. It was kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. It was difficult. So basically, uh, they end up uh, having uh, a one point. Whoa! But that is still good. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. We'll still have like how many games do we have right now? Five games for tonight. Five games. Okay. Yeah. We still have four. They still have four chances. Yeah. So right now we still have like sixteen left, eleven players alive. Um then, it's kinda open, yeah, right? Yeah, and everyone actually for this uh games tonight, uh top twelve can be qualified. So so uh mm -hmm, it's not mm -hmm. gonna be yeah, you, everybody. So this, since this is everybody's everybody's game, mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't know it yet. We mm -hmm. are here, and got ability, and you confirm, it's uh, two versus one. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I can see one. here that the circle is now uh, moving. Okay. What, ha what, what, what happened? What happened? Okay. Oh, it's AG Nent, right? It's AG. Look at that! Oh my goodness. I wasn't able to catch up that one. But it was the last kill, I guess. Mm -hmm. But we got here. Armory Gaming. 
It's just bro. Yeah. Ned got knocked down by the icy smell. Okay. Throwing, Throwing some grenades. Throwing those grenades. It didn't connect it. Most of it to... Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. There's a grenade be just be beside him. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the smell. Now going for a push. And look at that. Armor Gaming is already eliminated there again. And BRU yeah. is... By the way... Oh. The icy smell is smelling that no oh. Noardra is just behind us. Just uh, he's on his way, going into Noardra. He is using now his yeah, 3x, right. switching his 3x, mm -hmm. and also shots onto. Look at this. I check uh, Noardra right now, because somebody might be onto mm -hmm. him as well. Look at that EGA. Is by the way with him, or spotting him running on the this side of the map. Let me check on mm -hmm. Noardra. The Wardra, I mean. Oh, those oh. shots are connecting from Junkie. The Wardra got damage. Okay. A bullet from Junkie, right? Yeah, Junkie. What's this? Junkie Brez. Junkie. Brez. BRZ? Rose? <laughs> Junkie. We're just making up names. <laughs> <laughs> Junkie Brez. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, the Wardra received some damage from him. However, uh, he was able to. Uh, recover from the damage that he got uh, from the player and right now I'm checking here as well the BD uh, sorry the DIC um, yeah okay they're actually just uh, JJ Leo yeah, right? they're on a small. a uh, high ground spot where they mm -hmm. can however overlook. yeah JJ Leo is uh, receiving some damages from Junki and Momoke okay so let me check. Yeah, we are now on mobile. Okay. And Junkie Bros. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you may go ahead and check that. I'll check here the B, uh the uh, DIC here. They're trying to like stay to the place because they are currently inside of the uh uh of the safe zone. Now those shots coming from the BRU in the Wardra, one man guy. So we got two guys yeah. here who are one man. We got BRU, Noir, Noirdra, and SVITT. Meanwhile, yeah. let's uh, let's it's check. Vit. Yeah, it's, it's Vit is actually just uh, doing his thing. Vit. Is is just boosting mm. up and just wait for the right moment to to get an attack. Mm. Oh, some headshot. Mm. And oh, then, there you go. Okay. Junky Bruce is down. He okay. did it. Okay, finishing him off. There you go. So there, right. so three guys. So DIC is the only two man guy, which which are located or just within that circle. Mm -hmm. Look at that circle, guys. This mm -hmm. is phase number eight, and we got like how forty eight mm -hmm. oh. minutes. Forty seconds. It's the rest rather. Of the, uh, receiving some damages from uh, DIC. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Esvit received some crossfire from uh, DIC yeah. and Momoke. However, right now uh, DIC is already moving forward. And this is gonna be a 2v1v1 situation. Alright, Momoke is Whoa, trying look to. Look at that BRU Noardra. Yeah. Wow. Momoke tried to attack uh, Noardra, however, uh, Momoke got killed. So right now, uh, um, Noardra is true. Yep. Smell is on the push. Trying to. And look at that. Oh, there My you go. My goodness, these guys are really good. The IC Gaming just managed to win it for winner, winner, chicken dinner, guys, for first game of the night. This is yep. game number one. Congratulations for game number one, guys. And who got a high skill so far? Let me just. Uh... Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just gonna update something. Okay, you may go ahead and try to uh, okay. screenshot that. I, I did. Already. I'm just going to. To update something i think you already know why i'm going to relaunch my game yeah i forgot to do something okay okay <laughs> actually <laughs> the good thing right now i didn't have any crash almost dude almost so reinstalling my game maybe had help i guess so yep yeah, oh, okay I did. you did oh, yeah okay. i did reinstall my game last night it's so like 28 gigabytes mm -hmm. was it 28 or 20 uh, actually as as i could remember if it's just 28 gigabytes it's good yeah it's a good amount, rather than to have a hundred fifty gig download. Whoa! <laughs> of course. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell the game. Yeah. I just had like a fifteen gig yesterday. Oh, okay. Yesterday, fifteen gig. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, well, an update, 15 gig. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway. Well, that is um, game number right, one, right. guys. And still, this is your caster, one of your casters tonight. This is the M7AG. And with me right here, Tom Server Sky. We are going back, hopefully by second game. We can have mm -hmm. Ants Dave with us. I don't know. He will be available by 9 p.m. So me, he might get in by a third game. So next game, guys, we are going to the desert land of Miramar, and we'll be back after short breaks. Okay. We offer tips and tricks to come second nature to the pros. So you're playing on Miramar and you have El Pozo all to yourself. There's just one little thing keeping you from that mouth-watering chicken dinner. The circle set on the other side of the map. Well, we're gonna show you how to get there. This is Jim. Jim's about to take a shortcut over that mountain. Don't be like Jim. Driving off-road not only lowers tire friction and some cars speed by 15%, it will often leave you in a scorching pile of debris. Knowing when to boost and when to slow down is crucial in PUBG. On an open road, let it rip. Through the forest, avoiding trees can be tough. When it comes to vehicles, there are a lot of different options, although you might not always have the luxury of choice. A good rule of thumb is, the bigger the vehicle, the stronger and slower it is. Need to go fast? Try a motorbike. Oh, and uh, be careful when driving anything with three wheels. They can be a little tricky to handle. Most maps have exclusive vehicles to help navigate the diverse terrains. Get familiar with these vehicles and which maps they're on, so next time you're taking a trip to the Alps, you come prepared. Execution is key when it comes to driving vehicles. Don't be afraid to utilize your handbrake. When you want to come to a quick stop, hold the handbrake and slam sideways into an object or wall. See? No damage taken. If you want to accelerate quickly, hold down the handbrake, boost, and forward. After a few seconds, release the handbrake, drive away with a little pep in your step. Vehicles spawn alongside roads and trails, so to cover your tracks, Try hiding your vehicle in a garage or building. If stealth is more your speed, turn off your engine and cruise into a compound silently. Your enemies won't know what hit them. If you just drive into an open field with no cover, no worries. Take a step back and blow that baby up. It will give you great cover from one direction, and enemies can't blow it up on you. Who says attrition warfare is dead? Stop your enemies in their tracks by popping the tires on spawned vehicles and cars you aren't using anymore. This tactic is particularly cruel when used on a large map like Miramar. Learning to switch seats could be a valuable tool to have in your arsenal. If you want to surprise an enemy, switch to another seat so you can shoot them. You can avoid incoming enemy fire by switching to a safer seat. And make sure to tell your teammates when you're switching seats. A miscommunication could have some unfortunate results. 
Now that you have the basics down, drop in and refine your skills as you embark on your journey to evanescent safety and conquer the vehicular wasteland that is PUBG. Strategic tips that will get you and your squad to the final circle. So, you're playing Erangel. You and the squad have dealt with team after team on the main island, and the circle is just set over on Mill Base. Time to buckle up and book it over to deal with the final few opponents. Looks like you're the first one to the bridge. Bridges can be the perfect place for dealing with enemy teams before you're on an even playing field. But setting up an effective choke point ambush is harder than it looks. Let's see how it's done. Creating obstacles is key in a bridge ambush. The more vehicles you have, the more roadblocks your enemy will have to deal with. So collect as many vehicles as your team can handle. There's more than one way to arrange your ambush. Let's try a staggered formation. This will make it harder for the enemy to navigate and keep them off balance. Knowing whether the element of surprise is on your side or not will greatly affect the way you set up your ambush. If you've been noticed, best to keep the enemy squad at a distance and deal with them from afar. Also, be careful not to get tunnel vision. Keep an eye out for teams that may already be behind you and avoid being ambushed yourself. Even though you have the bridge locked down, there's more than one way to cross the island. Keep an eye out for boats, but choose wisely if you want to engage as you will lose the element of surprise, plus let the whole map know where you are. Each squad mate should take on a different role. If you're close to the entrance, your job is to damage the enemy vehicle and steer them into the line of fire for your squad mate behind cover. The next teammate should be ready to roadblock the enemy if they get past all the decoys. And the last player is there to clean up the mess. If everything goes to plan, it should look just like this. Well done, team. That's one less squad to worry about. Remember, as important as it is to think about your ambush strategy, it's equally important to anticipate one from enemy teams. Keep an eye out. And until next time, keep playing PUBG.
Oh, oh Ray's okay. here. <laughs> oh, hi, Ray. <laughs> okay, just a moment. Let me fix the volume real quick. The mic was off the whole time. My goodness, I'm so sorry for that. Hello. Uh, hello, Ray. What's up, Ray? Okay, so going back Fine. to the game, we have Lost Souls here from the team Lost, and they still have zero kills as of the moment, and they are now trying to initiate an engagement towards the team of CGM. They were successful to get a position inside the circle, and they are part of the pie now, so the only thing for them to do is to uh, continue this aggression towards, because they have the upper ground here. They yep. have better visual towards the lost team, so they have the advantage here. We'll see how will they play this out. They We also have a team that's on the left side. We have BOG. BLG. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, uh -huh. that's BOG. And... Mm -hmm. we got and as we continue to witness these massive shots that are coming from the north, That's they it. are still traveling, by the way. And DIC Gaming here will still try to pursue that initiation. My mic was off the whole time. So I just checked it. Uh, there was uh, some technical issue with my, my mixer, but it's all good now. Our mics are already out. Sorry for that. Yeah, it's all good. You can go. Uh, yeah, sure. By the way, you guys can still go ahead. Uh, I'm still waiting for my PUBG here, so I, I can look to the map. Well, things are really it's happening right here right with the smell with uh, Team DIC. Yeah, your DIC and Team Kirsten. It's like uh, too many gunshots are coming from everywhere, guys. Get that circle so right actually, now. there is a three-way battle that's happening on the west side of the circle. And we have DIC Gaming. They are trying to spot the, the proper location of Team CRS. It's a 2-2 two -two split from CRS. Two from the left, two from the right. But they have the compounds here, so we'll see. And they also have Divine Esports spotted Levis there. JJ Lay was able to connect a few shots, but not enough to take him down. Yeah. You, we got that's uh Namsi. We got here Namsi, this guy of divine. Mm -hmm. Wait up. So okay. for the phase four of this game, we have 14 teams left, 48 players alive. I mean, as you can see, guys, these teams are really playing it well. Imagine for a phase four, we still have 14 teams, and on the kill feed, lost team now are getting some shot i mean getting Kills. some points uh -huh. towards the team ega it's a three-way battle like i said earlier we have cgm we have ega we have bog and make that four. Oh my make goodness. that four-way battle that's going to happen on the next phases of this circle and we also have armory gaming on to that location as well uh -huh. Okay, as we're checking the map, uh, also, I'm seeing here that there is some crossfire happening from AG, um, BOG, and EGA yeah. as of the moment. And Sky uh, Skyco is currently down at the, uh, as of the moment. Whoa, okay. that was a knock. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. Okay, while CRS is also um, shooting at uh, Pisces Pro. That was quick. Okay. Yeah, EGA is now eliminated. Oh. All right, so there's uh like one, two, three, four, four teams. Oh, five teams. Uh, that is having some crossfire from each other. Um, right now inside of uh the circle, and going um to the right side of the circle, we have here Game Home. Um, who is currently uh maybe waiting as of the moment armory okay, gaming and I... emg and pisces pro picking up some kills towards bog and crs team person is finally eliminated out of the game we now have 12 teams left 38 players alive lost souls still going to the aggression of the team what was that team again cgm mm -hmm. is that cgm yeah it's a was cgm, that CGM? Yeah. yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> All right. So DIC right. Gaming here, they are trying to cover themselves with the smokes because they are so open. 
and yeah. they knew that there are some teams on there uh just above them or not above but uh a little bit farther and we have lost here team lost they actually have the edge of the circle they are pretty much just out in the open area and they're actually being spotted by team cgm and bog one guy there standing and allen's here trying to blow up some tires from that vehicle of team lost so now down to the 12 teams game home diane getting that headshot with Zvit from q confirm so yeah who do you think has the advantage based on the positioning right now guys well looking um, at it um for for yeah. me right now um i'll go for ag uh however right now i think a uh, pro is really trying to like check um for the players or everyone that they can see as you can see Pisces Pro is trying to shoot some of the players uh, of cgm right now here which is go on, uh, going towards to soha t but okay let me Ooh. a little bit on the left sir there oh, okay. it is norja was taken wow. down by the one guy of q confirm and look at that q confirm is finally getting that 12th place they're out for this game number two and mm -hmm. barbarium wow. yadi is being taken mm -hmm. down he, he i mean he's trying to revive his teammate as mm -hmm. this happens the circle is closing and look at that yeah. rotation from game home they're being shot by team mm -hmm. msc png as well as mm -hmm. eliminated team mm -hmm. ag is trying to gatekeep team cgm or trying mm -hmm. to um, avoid them getting that loot crate and dic here is spotting the position of team boss gaming jg lane trying to push forward his break coming in two down members now for team boss jk line and dic gaming <laughs> lost they did is about that? finally oh out what they did there was really Goodness. oh what a clutch what a clutch Meanwhile, we're right now on wow, PCG and Divine. Oh, taking those shots eventually. Yep. Got us well. Burium United is elim uh, eliminated right now. So, okay, receiving uh, C CGM is receiving some shots from AG as well. Uh, as well. And Pashao of CGM is down as of the moment by AG Nent. Okay, and on the other side, we can see here also that Divine Gaming is trying to shoot some of the member or players here from PCG, and they are trying to go inside of the circle. However, a game home uh, was able to spot them, and you can see that PCG uh, from PCG 777 is moving towards to some of the players here from game home. Let me try to take a look real quick. Uh, it's Young Gao and Jan. Okay, receiving some uh, grenades from them. All right, now they are currently um, like out of the zone, and that there was go. a beautiful tap there by Kanka, yeah. Yeah. eliminating the rest of the members of Game Home with that mm. mini 14. Very useful for his aim. And Team PCG now with a total of two kills, seven teams left for the phase six. And PCG and Divine Esports are really close to each other. We'll see if this will be the next team that will try to engage. But PCG here, I guess, is going for the Team P uh, MSC. I mean, uh -huh. Namsi here spotting some members of Team PCG. They're throwing some utilities here. I guess they're really uh -huh. trying to push uh -huh. forward now. Uh -huh. They are. Yeah. Actually, I think PCG was uh, a moment ago, they were like trying to bail from this position uh -huh. because uh, there was uh -huh. a game home. As you can still remember about it. Okay, PCG uh -huh. are on a bad spot right now. They'll be compressed here by Divine and, and MSC. they'll be third partied now yeah. by the team PS. I mean MSC. So it's a three-way battle that's going to happen. And PCG here is getting sandwiched. They have two enemies that are trying to face uh -huh. towards them. And one uh -huh. guy uh -huh. down, Conkoy here, is still bleeding out. MSC, Therathon here, I mean, Rossited Jr. trying to get that angle towards the position of PCG. Konkoy has successfully revived by his teammate. And they're in a very, very tight situation and position as of the moment. They That's are right. out in the open. The only cover for them are the ridges. And there's two teams that are trying to initiate towards them. Mm -hmm. Boss Gold is now out of the game, seventh place. And that's a beautiful angle, actually, from Namsi of Divine Esports.
a lot of happening here. We got uh, DIC on the left of uh, Divine. And we got here uh, Nikki spotting DIC. He's just waiting because uh, DIC... Now the DIC are kind of pretty far from them. But with all the other mm -hmm. guys of the PC of, of Divine mm -hmm. or PCG are on the spot of Namsi. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. JJ Leo from DIC is Knock got knocked down by Divine Turtle. Okay, um, but 74L1 is going towards JJ Leo to be revived. Okay, and I can see here, um, I think Pisces Pro from AG is still like waiting. Okay. Yeah, Pisces Pro. Carefully waiting. Mm -hmm. We have to appreciate like what Team Armory Gaming is doing right here. Like they're really strong holding this area. It's yeah. a more, they're totally spread out. Even though there's two members left for Team Armory Gaming, they are really doing well in defending mm -hmm. this territory. And you can mm -hmm. see here, Team DIC, we have a 2-1-1 oh. one, one split. We have MSC mm -hmm. on the left side, just, mm -hmm. just on the left side mm -hmm. of Pisces Pro. And we have two mm -hmm. teams in front of Pisces Pro that are very, very much aggressive towards his position. And look at this. I think they are they don't have any idea that there's one guy here from Team Armory Gaming. So we'll see if the team MSC or Vrosited will be able to spot the position of Pisces Pro. Okay, yeah. So um, uh, what I can see here, only the, uh, the only gunfight that um, we're seeing right now is between Divine and PCG. Okay, and the rest of the teams, uh, the three teams here, is just waiting. Maybe uh, they're just like carefully waiting. Like If you can see on the map, like the last three teams are outside it's only armory gaming or make that msc and dic as well was able to get a position but mm -hmm. yeah this is really interesting because it's like they are trying to avoid themselves getting in contact with armory gaming which is yeah. just a two members left yeah but right? if so... you're gonna notice net for armory gaming he's trying like mm -hmm. to crawl to, uh, towards to msc i mm -hmm. think he's going to try to take some of the members of M uh, MFC, but I'm not sure if that plan is going to work. But right now, Nen is moving forward. Okay, now shooting. Pisces okay. Pro now getting some shots here uh, from the team MFC, and he was taken down, and Armor Gaming, just like that, was uh, immediately eliminated. We were so appreciative towards their position, but no, they were denied by the team MSC. So now it's going to be the PCG or make that DIC are doing their initiation. There's two members down now for Team Divine. Turtle has been eliminated. Levi's is bleeding out. He's spotted. But the retaliation from Ka from Team Divine was able to take down Kanka there from Team PCG. Mm -hmm, exactly. So there's only two players left from PCG. And right now, a members of Divine is moving forward to PCG. However, um, Nikki got out of the game and we have Namsi moving forward towards PCG. However, I he think is, is he gonna one get... One. Yep. Look Whoa, at that on the kill that... feed. Whoa. He's retaliating, but he's too low now. Namsi, PCG eliminated just by himself. <laughs> oh from my Namsi and Divine oh, goodness. So we are now down to three teams, eight players alive, and Namsi here, the last guy standing for Divine Esports. We have three mm -hmm. from MSC. We have four mm -hmm. from BAC. So how do okay. you think will Namsi play this out? Oh, actually, it, it was really good. Uh, uh, a good clutch. Okay, for mm -hmm. me, okay, that is that is really nice. However, right now, if and, you can oh, see, this is the best Namsi thing just got out for Namsi. The <laughs> oh, I was about to say that this is going to be a best thing for Namsi because MSC and DIC are trying to initiate to each other. But no, there's the other members of MSC who spotted the position. They know, they heard the shots, they got the information from the earlier engagement and then they mm -hmm. pursue it and they they yeah. try to look for the last guy of divine esports mm -hmm. now down to last two teams we have yeah. uh two from msc we have four from dic mm -hmm. so it's a four versus two situation and dic here with a total of 10 kills and look at this one smell spotting the head of rosseted yep. from team msc mm -hmm. we'll see how will the team dic play this out 
Yeah, that's right. And DIC is uh, actually have an uh, an advantage when it comes to the count of players that they have right now. So yeah. I, I, I'm numbers, thinking that they, they are going to push. The yeah, they, they, they're going to like push. Uh, doing some push but i'm not sure because um Skip. i think they're just trying to look at like, all those trolls, utilities yeah. all those frags going towards the position of msc and they immediately just reposition because of those grenades and elonix here and rusted and were forced to reposition i guess um team dic will now try to pressure this uh situation towards the msc one down now it's one guy left for team msc and that's it dic, DIC gaming with a total of 12 kills plus yeah. the chicken dinner wow congratulations dic gaming for winning the game too Wow, that is so awesome. You know, the, the game that they have showed right now, it's a different from the games that we have seen uh, for a couple of weeks ago, for a couple of days ago. Well, this is really yeah. top tier top tier players that we got here of as our invited teams. There will, there will be like four days that will be happening. Today's the first day for the invited teams playing for our tournament here at uh, GameLink's Spring Summit 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna okay, take so, on some uh, shots uh, on the. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and exit to lobby right now. Okay. You got it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you could create one, please please do so. Okay. So we will be back, guys. Again, this is Denim Seven AG, and together with me, it's. Uh, Ants Dave of at the bootcamp and Tom Service Guy. And we will be back after a few reminders or advertisements. The studio director of the engineering team here at PUBG New York. PUBG is a really hard and complex game. And so, you know, mastery is about uh, being excellent at skills needed to, to master our game. So when I think about mastery, it's really about two things. The first is for our players to track their skills over the long term. So we track combat skills and then we track other skills, anything needed to survive. And then the second thing is that it's really a way for us to have a conversation with players a little bit about what we value in the game going forward. So evasion, combat, survival, there's a lot of different techniques to survive PUBG. And it's a way for us at the company to give a nod to each of them. The most important part was actually defining and conceptualizing what the term survival even meant. Every tactic in PUBG is contextual. Instead of trying to define tactics that, that in turn defined what good survival is, we trying to recreate the story of the player, trying to track actions that could happen in PUBG. We did run into some uh, survival mastery engineering issues. And not really issues, but like kind of interesting problems, really. One is capturing all of the data from a game. So you do so much as a player. Like you shoot your gun, you get in a car, you get an engagement with your car, you loot a body, you, you do all sorts of stuff, right? Like there's so much data there. Um, and we're capturing all of it. Like when I say all of it, I mean all of it. We send that data away when you're in the game and then we, we process it and then we say, you've gained 50 XP this match, you leveled up, here's a nameplate, here's a pose, right? There's certain button styles, certain modal styles, backgrounds, all those things are familiar to the system. And it just helps the game feel more polished and more cohesive when you're jumping from tab to tab in the out game. The survival tab is the mastery's way of tracking a player's actions, their active decisions in game, depending on each player's position in that stat compared to the community. The survival mastery system will give you a player trait for that stat. When you're looking at your player traits, you're gonna say, oh hey, I'm a hot dropper, but like, how, why do you think I'm a hot dropper, right? It's because the community average is like 40% of people or 30% of people hot drop and the rest don't. Jin designed it in such a way that it's not meant to be a positive or negative for the player. So the visual side of that needed to reflect that it was nor good or bad that you hot drop or don't hot drop. So we kind of tried to deliver the traits in a neutral way so that it's more stating information to you. And that's not a good or bad thing, right? That's just describing your play style. There's been a lack of content that 
enables the player to show off their status and their stats to other players. So the PUBG ID is really one way, and it's, it's really a starting point. The theme behind the PUBG ID is you kind of, every player needs this passport to get on the plane, right? You're going into the battlegrounds, and you've got to give this passport to the pilot um, in order to drop in. It's a booklet that opens up and closes, and they can kind of tweak different things. Certain things are set, and like other players can learn more about you by looking at those things. When we designed the emblem and the nameplates, um, we wanted it to be robust enough that everybody likes something in there. So there's 50 nameplates, 50 emblems, and five poses. The idea is um, these poses are all related to survival mastery and survival as a whole. So some of them are leaning against a crate, which is kind of a survival tactic, and shooting a flare gun, which is also a survival tactic. So this was the kind of the concept that we came up with. So it's just kind of this very PUBG moment where you're running away, but the idea is this pan is this almighty, you know, bulletproof pan that kind of saves you once in a while. So it seems fitting that this is the kind of top reward, the little 500 reward for survival. Another interesting engineering task we had was creating poses. So we had engineers in Madison and in Amsterdam uh, helping us here in New York compose these for the PUBG ID. And I think players will appreciate that they can represent themselves in, in different ways on their PUBG ID. Um, so there's a little bit brighter colors for the nameplates. There's some silly emblems, there's some serious emblems, and they kind of stand out amongst the rest of the UI. There were animals, there were silly ones, there were serious ones, um, there were a lot of biohazard or toxic ones. So you can do these mix and match combinations to really get something that's unique to you. There's like vector ones which um, kind of are flat, a little bit grungy but more solid color. And then there's some 3D ones which are more realistic and just more artistic as, as far as illustration goes. So you'll notice that the nameplates and the emblems and the poses are a little bit more flamboyant than the UI, I'd say. And it's because we really wanted to provide a sense of personalization to them. So we just kept building off of that and we wanted to make this passport the signature item for the player. And that's deemed the PUBG ID. In addition to the weapons tab that we already have in the system, we have added two more tabs, the summary tab and the survival tab. Players are now able to go into the tab and not only look at information about themselves um, of their last match, but if they decided to play as like a duo or a squad, they can go in and find out information about their teammates too. Survival revolves around celebration of your last match, and to do that, we chose to use some icons and some line items and locations to kind of build that story out. Our first iteration came up with generic icons with just little circles, right? And there's like different color-coded circles. But it didn't read, it didn't tell the story correctly. So we adapted it and kind of used the actual in-game icon and revives. So for example, a player might look at the player timeline and the survival mastery system actually tracks engagements. So it gives you a summary of the, the total damage given and taken in an engagement. So if you get shot in the middle of a field, Taking damage is an action, but that action kicks off the situation. So for the next 30 seconds, if you do anything that we consider an action, a survival action, it will extend the situation for a longer period of time. And so we try to, we try to capture that as an engagement. And a player might look at this and look at the actions directly preceding the engagement or that happened within the engagement, if these actions actually helped you survive that engagement, or if these individual actions actually were the result of you dying from that engagement. It could be more than 30 seconds, it could be five minutes, it could be a couple minutes, but we're gonna give you survival mastery experience in that time frame based on what the designers have configured for experience values. I think players can look at this as their own personal coach almost to look back at their last match and kind of not analyze what their last match was about um, what kind of decisions they made and what they could have improved from that. There's really only one way to win a PUBG game today, by getting the chicken, but there's a lot of ways to win by degree. In PUBG, every game is different and every journey is unique. I hope the survival mastery system allows players to further level up their skills, enjoy the process, and enjoy the time they're spending with us. That it's one of the first features we're simultaneously shipping on both console and PC. Here in the New York office, we spend a lot of time on console and PC as well, so we're really excited to make this happen for players. PUBG is a huge global community, but we have our community managers out there listening and speaking with people every day, and your feedback goes directly to us as developers. Survival Mastery System is the first version of what will end up being a much larger system, so your feedback is timely, and we appreciate your help. Thanks. When I was a boy, 
I watched my world explode. I thought I lost everything in that fiery nightmare. But what I found in the rubble of my childhood awakened me. I was the first lone survivor of Erengel. But I would not be the last. The island showed the scared boy that he could be a survivor. That's what I want for you to meet your true self. Will you embrace who you're meant to be? Or is this all you are? Will you find a person strong enough to conquer their fear? Or will you die because you were too weak to understand it? Yes, my friend. Everyone is searching for themselves. That search ends here. The place I once called home. Welcome to my battlegrounds.
All right, so welcome back for the game number three. This is me, Ans Dave, and of course, I'm being accompanied by... Denim Savannah G? Tom? Denim, and of course... <laughs> Tom Summers guy. Hello, yeah, guys. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, welcome to the spring summit of the game Ling. And guys, don't forget to follow and uh, check the official website of GameLink. That's www.gameLink.net. And also follow the Facebook page of GameLink. That's facebook.com slash GameLink.net. So yeah, we are now on to the game number three for tonight. And look at the plant path. It's coming from Stalber going to the areas of Primorsk or Quarry. So uh, there's kind of, I don't know where would be the circle would appear after a couple of minutes, but as of the moment, everyone is still doing their parts on dropping into these areas. And uh, they're now distributed among the map. Okay, we have droppers mm -hmm. going to Yasnaya, okay. Playana. We also have droppers. We got Boss G, Boss Gold. We're going to Severny. And Divine Esport are now taking over Stalver. All right, so we are probably going to be seeing we're witnessing a different kind of playstyle since this is the Rango map. This is the OG map of PUBG. So most of these teams are very comfortable in playing or, or initiating their their playstyle or game style on this map compared to the previous one that we had at Miramar. All right. So as we can see at the ferry pier, we have three teams that are trying to occupy that area. Also, and these teams. Are, yeah, there's yeah. also. Look at that. Look at the circle. And the circle. Disappeared. This is like... <laughs> well, it's given. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable about this circle. Yeah. Because it's not sure if it's going to end up on the main island or Susnovka. Yeah. So this is an interesting circle. Kind of bit central. It's, it's kind of bit central, but still uh, getting apart at Susnovka. So this is still very, very inter interesting for game number three. Mm -hmm. And I... I I can also see, uh, I'm seeing here right now that there's a lot of teams right now which is currently outside of the zone. Yeah, there are. Um, not that, like half of them? Uh, I could like, say half of yeah, them. Yeah, like I uh, say, it's uh, most of them, like maybe a 50% or 60. But anyway, we got some engagements right here a, a couple of minutes ago. Oh, here we go. Let's go on to Los Souls. They spotted C, C gamers, right? Uh, we get this guy. Surprisingly, there's no contest on to Puchinki. That's a really good looting location there. And they're just soloing that area, so good for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, um, but right now I'm seeing here CGM, uh, a member of CGM who is currently alone and he's with uh, the other team. Let me try to do some bird's eye view here on my end. Oh, it's Guri Pan Kill. Yep. I'm not sure what he's doing, but maybe he... Oh, yeah, he's trying to spot on and trying to shoot uh, Pokoyo here from C game. Um, but managed to escape from the gunshots. Okay, yeah. I think that's <laughs> it. But his vehicle just tumbled down. It stood up again. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, Check cool map pressure. again. We got, we got <laughs> nothing much really is happening. We are receiving some gunshots on uh, CGM, but um, it was mm -hmm. a, maybe it was just a test fire or something like that. So these are, mm -hmm. these are the only guys who are right now here at Puchinki that you confirm. They just occupy. Mm -hmm. They're they're so going on solo for Puchinki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just wondering here right now uh, on Team AG. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think they're trying to find some location. Okay, so leading by DMG and Nent, they okay. go. They are trying to go, or I'm not sure the exact place where they go. Uh, they are going at. They're basically maybe they're just uh, scouting the area to where they should position themselves because they are scouting mm -hmm. inside the circle. Yeah, exactly. However, as you can see on the uh, circle, it's, yeah, it's pretty occupied right now. So there's a lot of rotations now coming in from these teams that are outside. Yeah. And look at that very, uh, let's say, drastic rotation that's happening inside the, the play zone. We have NXP, we have Game Home, we have AG that are kind of its central position. And the rest mm -hmm. of the teams that are trying to spot each information that they can get 
or are very beneficial for them on the next phases of the circle. Mm -hmm. Yep, so they are, uh, AG are receiving some shots as well from uh, BU or Buri Ram uh, United. Okay, and their other two uh, two teammates, Pisces Pro and uh, DMG, is moving towards, I guess, inside the location of BRU. Okay, they're receiving some shots right now. Okay. Uh, let me check. All right, there you go. So right now, Pisces Pro is down. And... And now what TH is also out of the game by mm. BRU got me out. Oh. What? That was a great ambush from BRU there. So immediately yep. there were two members out for yeah, the Yeah, and right Army now you gaming. can see that next play Predator Esports are now going in as well near BRU. There's like two of them. Oh, it's already like the whole squad of next play. And I can see here that Mananabas is moving forward near location of the BRU. Okay, so what will happen? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, let me try to check the other player. There you go. This is the position of uh, okay. BRU. It's different. Mm -hmm. Now, NXP just located or spotted BRU, by the way. By NXP. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see what are mm -hmm. they gonna be doing mm -hmm. right here. But BRU is just holding the ground and uh, throwing the smoke. By mm -hmm. the way, there's a three-man push now from Team NXP. They are really wanting this um, engagement to happen between uh, BRU and NXP. So we'll see. Some utilities have been thrown. They are really now aggressive towards the two members of BRU. And look at that two-one push from Team NXP. We'll see how will this play. Uh, from NXP happen, they are backing out here, and I mean they're tre really trying to get a good position now for Team mm -hmm. BRU. And there's one guy behind from Team NXP that's also a BRU member. So we'll see if NXP can execute this initiation very well. But look at that, Konaxi taking down Mananaba's PH and Konaxi here. He's trying to finish the down member now from Team NXP. Throwing some frag. We need to follow up. Will it connect though? It did not. This is okay. really well played there, but a Mananaba speech has been revived and a lot of raids are being thrown here. Some Molly as well. And Abdul also was taken down. I told you there's one guy from Team BRU behind them. And God Meow here. We'll also try to get one member from Team NXP. They were so complacent on that one. They thought they had the advantage because they have the number. But no, Konaxi here pushing inside the house and uh, taking down another member from Team NXP. Narkim is out. Yeah, so there's only two players left. And Mananaba's PH is currently like on low health and now down by Nawadra again. Okay, one player left. That's Ebon Gaming. Okay, and cut. Konaxi or Konaxi is trying to shoot the vehicle oh, where Evil Gaming oh is. Oh, <laughs> that frag what? is and the final kill for to end GG up well played. that engagement. GG well played for the <laughs> next play. I mean, they're against you. Look, yeah. They're against BRU, guys. They're against BRU. This is no it's joke. BRU. You, this you is you cannot just you cannot just play that kind of uh initiation towards vr yeah but that was really a good play it came from next play yeah wow <laughs> i mean props props what they tried to um do there towards the bru but it wasn't enough though it was really well executed from team bru they know that uh they only need a good position and cover because they have their teammates behind that's all right the mm. nxp's position and mm -hmm. yeah, they, they capitalized that. They were caught off guard. They were not expecting that one to happen. That is right. Like mm -hmm. there's another initiation that's going to happen at the back of their, mm -hmm. in, based on their position. So mm -hmm. yeah, they were caught off guard there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So as you can see, um, like the face yeah, uh, uh... already started. We have the new circle right now. Um, it's near, fa the center is farm. And as you can see, uh, AG DMG and AG net is currently at the center of the circle. However, as you can see, Nawadra again from BRU is moving forward to farm. However, uh, net is 
uh, was able to spot on uh, Nawadra and try to shoot him. Uh, and right now, they try to move and find a location here in the lower um, left part uh, of farm. Okay, actually, uh, yeah, it's farm, I guess. So, so there's still like how many players or teams right now that is still out of uh, the zone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six teams. And as you can see there as well, CRS was able to get inside of the zone. Uh, the zone right now is getting occupied by the teams. Okay. So I guess we are going to have some engagements. All right. And uh, let's try to wait. There you go. Try to take uh, take a look at Game Home right now. I think they're trying to shoot CRS. And we got here okay. Easy Love, one of uh, Game Home Esports. And he, mm -hmm. CRS was just passing, or Kirsten was just passing by him. By the way, they, this, he's mm -hmm. the solo mm -hmm. guy on this area, particularly. Mm -hmm. well, let's mm -hmm. check on the other teammates of uh, CRM, or Game Home, rather. And okay. here's the empty. He's kind of too close or pretty close with the rest of the guys of the CRS. But again, they're split apart. The team Game Home Esport is, are kind of split apart with each other. And going back here with Burinam United. Look at this. They got an encounter with uh, BLG. Again, yeah, it's that's a Kaiko and Gold. And KG. Right? Yeah, with a BLG. Sorry, the boss. Oh, Gold. okay. Kenny uh, G. Yeah, Bosco, yeah. Kiniji, and uh, Skyco. Yeah, just so waiting. two of them right now is currently at the watch tower. Okay, and yeah, God Meow was able to spot them, right? Or yeah, it was. Me... Some, yeah, it I was guess. Some, yeah, it was some get, shots, uh, like a little bit. Yeah, it's Kanaxi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kanaxi. Yeah, it's Kanaxi. But I guess um, players from BOG that is currently located at the uh, Watchtower, I think they're gonna move or change location. I'm not what sure. Is oh, this no. position this, 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 from CGM. CGM. gamers. Wow, yeah. that, that's a bad spot, by the way. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah, he was just out in the open, and we have Sly DD here and Pasha trying to mm -hmm. push forward towards the position of MSC. And I'm oh, he's trying to leave actually. Uh, he did. He did just left. Was throwing some frag grenades. It's a little bit of retaliation, but he is knocked there by Jack Kut. Uh, what's mm. that? Uh, one guy of S MSC. Janku 2 f Yeah. Yeah. Janku. Janku. Yeah, got out. Janku. Uh, yeah, Sleep <laughs> got out of the game. Um, how about the other player here? Um, Pokoyo is kind of trapped as of the moment. He is stuck. Yeah. Okay, there's like three players from MSC is... Going away. Waiting, maybe waiting, okay. Yeah. Look at this update of the circle. Now, this is for sure will end up on to the main island. And Janku here also spotting the arrival of the members of Team DIC. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. They got the information now. They know that there's a team mm -hmm. just right in front of them onto that compound. But they're mm -hmm. pretty much safe for now on, mm -hmm. on this position. Mm -hmm. They are part of the circle. And they just need to do some repositioning later on. But we'll see. That will depend on the position as well from this next play zone. So mm -hmm. um, it's it, it will depend now on mm -hmm. to the play zone. So 15 teams for the phase three. Is this phase three? Yeah. Yeah, phase three of the circle. We got here, got one yeah. guy. And 51 right. players alive still. Yeah, oh, 51 okay. alive. Bokaya. The solo right. guy so of CGM. I think Bokaya is... is... Um, yeah, but he still managed. CGM, yeah. yeah. He still managed to get away from MSC. Oh. Look at this. We got here PNG. Oh, PNG Kush. Not by SBIT. Down. And he's going to be eaten by the blue zone. Okay. We are going to see if. Uh, I think there's no way for him to be revived. Yeah, that's too impossible. But the retaliation here, um, there's two members down now for Team PNG. They were trying to retaliate, but they were caught um by the uh the, the what do you call this the play zone, the view the zone? of uh, the team yep. uh-huh of svt's team here 
And yeah, they're being mm-hmm. caught up by the circle actually on this position. And Dr. Mm-hmm. Loji here and Hume Hong Yu mm-hmm. Hong Vu yeah, Hong from Team PNG. Mm-hmm. Hong Vudet. I actually remember this this player yeah, from, that's a- from PGs. Oh my god. Hong Vudetch. This yeah. this is a really cool name, by the way. So mm-hmm. Q confirmed there. It was a confirmed kill now for him. And a PCG Conkoy on the kill feed, taking down one member from Team EGA. And he just died outside the play zone. One more kill there. And Joe Man so happy trying to spray and connect those shots from his M. Um, no, that's not M4, it's Car Light. Mm-hmm. The- oh, there we go. So, I, as I can see here, DIC and EGA is eliminated uh from the game okay so moving forward let's try to see is there any like other engagement right now yeah, okay, i not guess yet. there's not i was checking on these yeah. guys of uh game home and uh crs or kirsten team kirsten kind of too near with each other yeah check right mm-hmm. here let's yeah, let check so on troll on will probably be the next engagement that's going to happen i guess team kirsten knows that there's a team that are kind of a closer than he's part ace here one member from Team Game Home and he was Ooh. able to take him down, but the retaliation from Team Game Home was so quick. Wow. Troll oh, game that, that accuracy? Here. My goodness. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm they really were so in quick awe enough to retaliate from that initiation. Wow, on and Armor Gaming game. getting that 12th place out yeah. from this four, I mean, phase four, game number three. Mm hmm. AJ is eliminated right now. Um, two of um players from Game Home is still down. Uh, and I'm um, seeing here right now is Ace Gene is uh, was revived by his teammate Troll Gaming. And okay, what is the other situation? Are you guys on them? Those shots are coming from the CRS. It's gonna be Dion. Yeah. Dion is not pushing, by the way. No, he's on for a rescue, but this is actually... Uh, this is a bad spot. You're kind of open. And the vehicle might be blown up. Look at that. And just like what I said. And there's one guy left now for Team Game Home. And he's a very, very bad situation. He's being surrounded by the team members of Team Kirsten. And his only cover is that raw. Ooh. And he's getting... Oh, he's being retaliated actually. Diane here is retaliating confirm. towards the team members of Team Kirsten. And yeah, Game Home is still fighting back. Where is it? Let me check it again. I have a lost. Sorry for that, guys. We have here one man standing for Game Home. Those shots were connected from CRS Ace Gen. Got Kyungo. Oh, that's so open. That's a good shot. But what, no. What do you have? Chaos. Third party here. The two confirmer. Third the party. Shot. <laughs> what a nice headshot from Jayers there. <laughs> good one. So we now have 10 teams left, 31 players alive for the phase four of the circle. And this again, the game number three here. And still, uh, a lot of teams are kind of spread out on this area. And we have actually an engagement at the south. Yeah, some repositioning at the south here. We have Brew Gaming, we have BCG, Mm -hmm. we have Divine Esports occupying that compound. And a lot of teams actually that are close to MSC lost soul and um what team was that color blue png so there's four yeah png mm. and lost there's four teams on that yeah, compound basically wow and the oblate of the circle it went north yeah look at this look at that look at that circle it went away okay. from uh BRU. yeah check on lost so basically it still favors the the compound where bru is positioning mm-hmm. kind of at northwest mm-hmm. and here this compound is being occupied by a lot of teams we have png bru we have lost soul and msc and dr loji look at this he's he's just in this chat this is- all by himself <laughs> yeah 
all by himself. Just waiting for the last phase of the circle and let all these teams fight it out. Okay, so we still have like 10 teams. Mm -hmm. So right PCG now... He is just running out in the open. He's being spotted here by God Meow. And mm -hmm. we'll see if he will be able to take down that member who just proned. But he's going towards triple seven of PCG. Look at where PCG is, is going on to. They're going to oh, the path the of Divine. Oh, the connecting and He was successful on taking down one member from PCG. Yeah. It's Kanka, and he's out. He was caught up by the circle, immediately taken out. So it's a wrong spot of, uh, look at this, we got here, Levins and Konkoi. Now, Levins yeah. does know that Konkoi is mm -hmm. just uh, on that house, just just near <laughs> Levins. Oh my god. Some <laughs> hide and seek okay, here like from Divine Esports and PCG. <laughs> Ooh, that's what a happened? Really good throw. My goodness. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. So Konkai received some damage from the grenade, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. We got like While Levis just is him. checking the house right now. Yeah. Levis is just taking it slow. Oh, PCG seven seven. Oh, okay, that's uh, the other player. They just got knocked down. Okay, uh, right now going back, Levis. Oh, he's, okay. he's falling there. Rece yep, there's like a, just like a tiny spot. But uh, actually- Konkai here, he's oh. been caught up in a circle now, but he was able to retaliate and take down Nikki. but he will also be eliminated because he's outnumbered and he's behind the play zone. And meanwhile, on this watchtower, we have Gaviram Gaming, Boss Gold are trying to initiate or to engage each other, but there's one guy inside who's already down and Nordra was there to finish him off. Wow, these guys are really real deal. Yeah, Bariram Gaming, since from the early engagement from Next Play yeah. Predator. And can we try to check how many kills do they have now? Yeah, for the kills. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Bariram Gaming getting eight team kills. As of, eight. Yeah, eight team kills. Eight as of kills the in moment. total. And they're still going for more. They have spotted another enemy team there from that watchtower. They just couldn't stop, bro. They can't. They, they, we can call these guys as happy triggers. Going away. We got here Divine Esports. Spotted by BRU as well. For BRU side, they got their uh, Kursen, I guess. Or the BOG, rather. Ooh, we got the shot. Okay. But MST. Oh, what a beautiful what? retaliation from Janky there, spotting levies of Divine Esports. And because of that, Divine Esports getting the ninth place with zero placement points. Now they're not moving away. Let's check uh, the BRU, what would be their positions. Yashin Buri there with an Alm. We'll see if he can make use of that Alm. Uh. Oh, Lost Souls is... Lost Souls as well is eliminated, getting that 8th place. Now... Mm -hmm. So on this area, we have CRS and Team Q Confirm. So there's four from Q Confirm that will try to face the three members of CRS or the Team Kersen. So this is an interesting battle uphill mm -hmm. while the circle is closing. So four versus three situation. And I guess Team Kersen is kind of bit on a disadvantage here because they're on the lower ground and yep. having the position of Q confirm with the view from the yeah, upper ground. Yeah, and as you can see as well, uh, Ace G, uh, Ace Agen is already rece uh, receiving some bullets from uh, Kikion, okay, um, and is trying to like um, use some meds, okay. And um, there's also like a different um, like gunshots coming from Gabru. Okay. So, so um, Viram for... Gaming pushed Boss Gold inside the shack. 
outside and also team msc and meanwhile dr loji was just sitting all the while while everybody's kind of busy yeah just chilling whoa boss go Oh, okay. They got 10 kills. Um, but uh, let me check. Yeah, Boss Gold is eliminated, same as Team Kirsten. So we still have like five teams uh, left as of the moment. 11 players. Okay, so if we are going to. Take a look on the map. Only two teams are currently inside of the zone. There's like three teams right now. Um, currently on the southish part of uh, the circle, which is MSC, PNG, and GBRU. So we have okay. five teams left. And Elonix here is parting the position of Konaxi. He's just mm -hmm. behind that vehicle, but... Um, Elonix was able to connect a few shots though, so it forced him to get a proper cover. And mm -hmm. though he's outside the play zone, he needs to reposition as well. But he knows there are some positions as well on that hill. Oh, okay. So yeah. Janku 2 off is downed uh, by Evie of VRU and got taken out of the game by Evie. Same as MSC Elonix. What a so, beautiful shot here from Yadi, taking down one member from uh, BRU Gaming and MSC is out, getting that fifth place. Mm -hmm. Yadi still so spotting happy. another member from Team PNG here, and that's it for Team PNG, getting that fourth place now. All right, so this is going to be a three v two v one situation, and if you go, uh, if you are going to check. Um, Vets right now, he is really not on a good shape and... Oh, okay. So this is it. Three versus two versus right. one. The final moments. Having you confirm the three members, probably outnumbering the other two teams. But we'll see. This is Barrium Gaming and Q confirm. So uh, there could be some impossible plays that could happen. And meanwhile, we still have GBRU yeah. as well. Like everyone One is spotting on him. But he's being spotted by Yadi there. Everyone can was see on eyes or on Gabru. Towards him. Yeah, on eyes or on Gabru mm -hmm. right now. Look at that. Escaping. Gabru's trying to escape okay. that, but he's really... Whoa, I like those shots. Both Q confirm and BRU. But he was killed. But he was killed. No <laughs> shots. Counted yeah, he there. denied himself. He denied himself outside the play zone. That's the better play there. So two versus three situation for the last two teams. Q confirm versus Beriram Gaming. Okay, as you can see as well, uh, as of the moment, Jair is going down uh, right now, and I think he's trying Ooh, to spot on. What a beautiful shot from Yadi there, taking down gems three. Oh, Q confirm, <laughs> making it even. From Q confirms him now. It's two versus two situation. Not sure yet because I guess they can revive that this. teammate. Got here. But On the push. Konaxi here is trying to push forward. We'll try to finish the down member or even take down another member from Q confirm. But no, Gems has been revived and Konaxi okay. is still pushing forward. He still wants this kill. Two versus one situation. Konaxi versus the two members. And what a beautiful Whoa. headshot again from Konaxi taking down two members from Q confirm immediately oh taking goodness. two members from Q confirm and now yeah, Q confirm there. is on the disadvantage. Yeah. They are outnumbered. Basically, two versus one situation. He is spotted on behind goodness. this truck and it's phase nine, guys. Really, phase nine. What a beautiful push from Konaxi. Yeah, the... oh. Okay, there you go. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm out of words, really. 18, bro, 18 kills. Oh my goodness. That's the chicken dinner. 
Oh my goodness. There's no words, man. How? Those no words. How would you define that <laughs> execution from Barium Gaming? Since from the early stages of the of the game number three, that is they right. have shown that they are a team that cannot be oppressed or how whatever you call it. Like, like Barium Gaming. Yeah. Uh, Teams would team like to be. think, I mean, other teams would like to push on them that they recover and then some, they're going to push, some teams would recover. And whenever they would really indeed push on one team to another, they officially just finish off one team. There and then. Right there and then. <laughs> oh my goodness. So look at the scores, guys. Look at those scores. All coming from 18 kills, <laughs> man. What? It's a total of 28 points. Yeah, basically. Wow. So let me just forward the... Goodness. <laughs> Verirum, what was that? Yes, of the moment, guys, we can... Konaxi, especially Konaxi from the, from the last... From the last initiation, like... The last three members of Q confirmed it was all onto him. Yeah. Konaxi. Konaxi. Look at that with a total of seven kills. Seven kills, man. Wow. And this is pro teams, guys. <laughs> and there was an announcement coming from Gameling. As of the moment, they can't update the scores. Uh, the server is down for the Gameling's uh, website. So uh, okay. eventually, the scores will be given right after the games or maybe in between. But uh, all of the scores okay. were already submitted to the admin, especially Ray. That's Ray. So we will be back, guys. This oh. again, Dead into an AG, and we meet my co-host here, shoutcasting for you guys. Yep, Tom Sober Sky. And Anz Dave will be back for game number four. Stay tuned for more PUBG action.
안녕하세요. 펍지 안티치트 유닛에서 안티치트 총괄을 담당하고 있는 이도영입니다. 안티치트 유닛은 펍지 게임 플레이 경험에 악영향을 줄수 있는 모든 부정행위에 대응하는 조직입니다. 많은 플레이어 여러분들이 펍지가 부정행위에 대응하기 위해 어떤 업무를 하고 있으며 앞으로는 어떤 계획을 가지고 있는지 많이 궁금하셨을 것이라고 생각합니다. 그래서 오늘 저희는 플레이어 여러분들께 안티치트 유닛이 치트 프로그램과 부정행위에 대처하는 현황과 그리고 여러분들께 어떻게 하면 더 긍정적인 게임 플레이 경험을 제공해 드릴 수 있을까 하는 안티치트 유닛의 생각을 말씀드리고자 합니다. 안티치트 유닛이 어떻게 일을 하는지 설명을 드리겠습니다. 먼저 게임 내 부정 행위가 플레이어 여러분의 제보나 자체적으로 24시간 가동되는 시스템을 통해 확인되면 우선적으로 로그를 확인하고 조사를 시작합니다. 동시에 분석팀과 엔지니어링 팀에서는 로그 정보와 확보된 치트 프로그램에 대한 분석과 대응 로직에 대한 개발을 시작하고 엔지니어링 팀의 대응 로직 개발이 완료되면 최대한 빠르게 게임 업데이트를 진행해서 불법 프로그램이 동작하지 못하게 하거나 부정 행위를 한 이용자를 적발하여 제재를 진행. 하게 됩니다. 이후 분석팀에서 각종 데이터 분석과 머신러닝 기법으로 추가 공격을 대비합니다. 이외에도 불법 프로그램을 사용한 하드웨어에서 게임을 실행하지 못하도록 하드웨어 차단도 진행하고 있으며 다양한 방법으로 적극적인 대응을 하고 있습니다. 게임 외적으로는 내부 분석 결과와 국내외 파트너사와의 긴밀한 협업을 바탕으로 수사기관과 적극적으로 업무에 임하고 있습니다. 최근 사례로 해외 파트너사와 긴밀한 협업을 진행하여 최대 핵 유포 조직의 핵심 개발자 및 판매 조직을 검거하는 데 기여했고 현재도 안티치트 유닛이 분석하고 있는 핵 툴들을 전 세계적으로 총망라하여 검거 계획을 세우고 있습니다. 안티치트 개발진들은 치트 행위를 실시간에 가깝게 대응하는 데 초점을 두고 많은 다른 부서들과도 협력하여 안치치트 솔루션 개발과 연구를 진행하고 있습니다. 하지만 치트 개발자들도 우리들의 대응에 맞춰서 점점 다양한 공격들을 시도하고 있는데요. 이에 맞춰 우리 개발자들도 치트 프로그램 개발을 어렵게 하기 위해서 포인터 및 메모리 암호화, 코드 가상화, 섹션 서플 등의 고도화된 기술을 사용하고 있으며 끊임없는 분석과 연구를 통해서 보다 빠르고 효과적인 방법으로 대응하기 위해 노력하고 있습니다. 그리고 부정행위 근절을 위해 안치치트 머신러닝 기술을 일부에서 활용하고 있으며 분석팀과 머신러닝 팀이 협업하여 새로운 기술을 추가로 개발 중에 있습니다. 많은 종류의 머신러닝 알고리즘 위에 게임 플레이와 관련된 각종 통계, 로그, 플레이 패턴 등을 접목하여 보다 나은 게임 환경을 여러분들께 제공해 드릴 것입니다. 저희 안티치트 유닛의 목표는 펍지의 가치를 지키기 위한 공정한 게임 환경을 만드는 것입니다. 현재 저희 펍지 자체 솔루션을 개발 중이며 이 솔루션이 적용되면 핵 개발자들이 게임을 분석하는 데 힘들어질 것이고 핵을 구동하기 힘든 환경을 제공하여 더 나은 게임 환경을 만들 수 있을 겁니다. 그리고 팀킬, 팀인과 같은 비신사적 행위, 콘솔에서의 비인과 하드웨어를 통한 부정한 방법의 게임 플레이, 부적절한 닉네임과 욕설, 비난과 같은 모욕적인 행동에 대해서도 대응 프로세스를 구축하고 있으며 모든 플랫폼에서 쾌적한 게임 환경을 만들기 위해 힘쓰고 있습니다. 이외에도 연구 개발된 안티치트 기능이 많지만 안정적인 게임 서비스를 위한 검토로 아직 플레이어 여러분께 선보이지 못하고 있습니다. 이런 계획들을 최대한 빠른 시일 내에 라이브 환경에 자리 잡을 수 있도록 하겠습니다. 마지막으로 반드시 말씀드리고 싶은 점은 플레이어 여러분들께서 신고 시스템이나 커뮤니티를 통해서 제보해 주시는 내용들은 실제로 제재를 진행하고 치트 프로그램에 대응하는 데 정말 핵심적이고 소중한 데이터로서 큰 도움이 되고 있습니다. 현재 안티치트 현황을 가장 잘 반영하고 있으며 최신 치트 기법들을 담고 있기 때문입니다. 저희는 늘 플레이어 여러분들과 함께 만들어가는 펍지라는 마음가짐을 가지고 업무에 임하고 있습니다. 아직도 부족한 점이 많지만 계속해서 아낌없는 질책과 관심을 보내주시기 바랍니다. 앞으로도 플레이어 여러분들께 긍정적인 펍지 게임 플레이 경험을 제공해드리기 위해서 최선의 노력을 다하겠습니다. 감사합니다. When I was a boy, I watched my world explode.
I thought I lost everything in that fiery nightmare. But what I found in the rubble of my childhood awakened me. I was the first lone survivor of Erangel. But I would not be the last. The island showed the scared boy that he could be a survivor. That's what I want for you. To meet your true self. Will you embrace who you're meant to be? Or is this all you are? Will you find a person strong enough to conquer their fear? Or will you die because you were too weak to understand it? Yes, my friend. Everyone is searching for themselves. That search ends here. The place I once called home. Welcome to my battlegrounds. Hi guys, right, uh, so this is 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So welcome back for the spring summit of game lane guys this is the game number four for today and yeah we're here at this sand up map so you know this one is the smallest map of pubg you know this fast paced everything's so fast and we're going to see a massive pubg action that's going to happen in a few seconds so again this is me and dave and i'm being accompanied by denim and of course tom here as my co-casters so yeah, yeah guys what are you expecting for this sanok map as always i can say uh this is everybody's game so we don't know yet for game one and two um dic it was DSC, right? DIC was conquering Wiener Winner Chicken there for game one and two. And for game number three, BRU had a real comeback. So mm. actually the scores that were showed a while ago is was not uh updated yet because uh the server with gaming is uh, currently down. Maybe a lot of people are currently accessing the website. I don't know it. So some technical yeah, issues. For me, right? um Actually, I think uh, based on how the players uh, like play uh, their uh, the other games a while ago, I think right now here in Sanhok, this is really gonna be like a very fast and a lot of action. As you can see right now, there is happening at boot camp. Yeah, oh, and happened? that is um, against PCG and Kikion and DMG from AG is taken out of the game. So Jayers got down for uh, from Kikion. Uh, Ki Q confirm. Q confirm. Uh, yeah, Ki confirm. Uh, but got revived by Gems Three. They are currently here at the Y building, while the other teams uh, teams of AG. Uh, are located right now at the left side, uh, no, right side warehouse. Okay. So take. they are quiet. Okay. Yeah. And PCG right now here, maybe going out. Let me. No, they're just okay. doing some rotations, yeah, um, I guess. Yep. As you can see, try to take a look uh, on the circle right now. <laughs> it's kind of on the. Uh, yeah, most part, a uh, west oh. part of our map. Yeah, west part. Okay, right now at the moment we got here PCG are just uh want to deploy something. We got here Q confirm. Mm. Q confirm. Joe man's so happy. He's also going on solo on this part on this side. But look at that. Woo! He evaded those shots coming from PCG. That was fast. That was fast. That was really fast. A push coming from Kanka. I don't know if uh let me see what's gonna happen right here. Daku's on the move, mm -hmm. pushing a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, okay, that was knocked out oh. by the way. Yep, got knocked down by Kanka of PCG. Okay, because right now, if you are going to uh check Joe Mans, oh happy, he's near at the location or um at the three stock house where uh, most of the uh, members of PCG located at the moment. And right now, Kanka is maybe trying to check uh, the down player. Okay, there you go. He got it. So, Joe Man's Happy is taking out uh, from the game by Kanka of PCG. So, um, as of the moment, three players left from key confirm and q confirm and they are currently or still at the y building okay and on the other side okay um ag uh is located yeah, right now at the and we got a, a third yeah. party just mm -hmm. on the high ground looking over pcg yep. we got the yeah, that's and the god visit Oh, there you go. So uh, they were able to knock down Kanka, but I I think yeah, um, his teammate is going to revive him for sure. Okay, getting revive. Yeah, well, we got okay. a closer um, look here uh, with. Oh my goodness, we got game home pushing. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Game home. Oh my goodness. All right, so empty is knocked down as of the moment and. There you go. Oh. Lost Souls is 
eliminated. They okay. were like annihilated by the game home esports. Yeah, the first team that has been. They uh, went out first. Is it? I check in here with yep, Gabru. They went out first. We got here Gabru, mm -hmm. Gabru, and uh, Divine esports. And now our yeah. buildings are yet uh, rendering as of the moment. And uh, if you're going to take a look, they're kind of like pretty mixed up. Uh, like, okay, yeah, with, the situation uh, here is there's three members of Gabru here ooh, look versus at that. two of the Divine. Levis was spotted there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there I you mean, go. Near warehouse. Yeah, brother. Yeah, that's GBR Roy. Uh, GBRU Roy. Yeah. That has been down, uh, but already killed by Levis. Okay. Levis is getting some loot from uh, Roy here. Mm hmm. So, throwing some grenades to Turtle. Okay. Oh, and now Turtle is. Turtle. Got, yeah, got a headshot from Ghosty. Oh, one another. Okay, another on one the other down. side, oh, okay. Goodness. Nikki killed Vets uh, from G A Gabru, okay. And Turtle is, okay, now out of the game by Pankill. So we still have like um, two players left. And Levis and Nikki is quite far away from each other yeah. right now. And. On the push, mm -hmm. we got here. Oh, my goodness, I went out. Yeah, what happened to so that? We're, we're. Oh, okay. Got a Kobe move from Levis, okay. Another Trying Kobe. to throw some grenades again. Yep. No, uh, that is a sun grenade, okay? The second one, is it like a grenade? Okay, okay. yeah, that is a grenade. I think. Okay, so Levis is now spotting GBRU. Oh, he Ghostly just boy. There's one was enough. Okay, Levis Another is one. knocked down, but but Nick is trying to uh, push. Ooh, okay, there you go. There you go. Gabru just okay, annihilated so, Divine Esports. Mm -hmm. However, um, uh, what happened is uh, Ghostly Boy is the only player left uh, from the team, and right now. Uh, the circle is moving in, okay, and in front of Ghostly Boy, we have the Q confirmed here, Jairs and Gems 3. I guess they were able to um, heard the gunshots coming from them uh, a while ago, and they are trying to do some gatekeeping here uh, in Painan. Okay, so let's try to check the other places here. We have PNG also. In Tambang. Okay, CGM. Oh, well, that was a knock and kill coming from Allen, some CGM. Mm -hmm. okay. I believe he was just passing by this area, but uh, one guy of the PNG was trying to take those shots. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. uh, the, uh, Allen's just managed it. Now, Gabriel's now eliminated mm -hmm. with Q confirm. It was way yeah, back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was way back on the Painan. And meanwhile, we got here PCG. Yep. PCG Kanka over AG exchange of fires. Mm -hmm. Got three guys here. We got Dakus as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, right now, uh, Tanawa from AG is located right now at the higher, or I could say like um, maybe slightly. I'm not sure like higher ground, but right now he's near shore, and his other teammate uh, Pisces. Pro is still at uh, the same location. Nant was actually okay, but right Nant now, already crossed. Yep, yeah, that's right. Oh my goodness. Okay. A lot of things are happening. Couldn't catch yeah, up. Yeah, uh, I'll be checking uh, Boss Gold here. So let me see the teams that they are currently engaging with. We got uh, okay, I think it's PCG. game home. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got. EGA now pushing on next play's location. Let me check right mm -hmm. here. EGA and next play. Next play are yeah, and one of the team, uh, Q Swag from and God Ability is already here, near um location of actually the location of um next play. Okay, trying to pick and to check where the enemy's at. 
Just getting more information about each other. Uh, okay, there was us. Yep, okay, King right. Squa Swag was uh, spotted by Abdul. Yeah, Abdul. Just Abdul. Last Abdul. Just Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> I can't okay. say his name, his full name. Yeah, yeah. just Abdul. Just, uh, <laughs> it's different, guys. I'm gonna read it in Filipino, so yeah. Uh, they already know yeah. that. They do, they do. Well, meanwhile, here on this compound, we have K Swag, who's being surrounded by the team members of NXP here. But the rest of the team, EGA, is also just on the right side. So we'll see if how will this engagement will happen between NXP and EGA. Mm -hmm. On the kill feed, we have Q confirms Vet taking down yep. Pasha from Team C Gamers. Mm -hmm. And on right. the camp, Alpha. They are very much comfortable with their game home esports and going here onto this initiation as Vit was retaliated by Sly DD there. And the team members as well from Team C Gamers also picking up another member from Team Q Confirms. It's going to be Gems 3, the last guy standing, the last guy left for Team Q Confirm. And he's trying to face the four members of the Team CGM here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's being spotted. Whoa. Yep. By Junkie. By the other team. And a yeah. third party from EGA. Wow. So that was across the bridge. Confirm is eliminated. Yeah, that's right. That's Junkie BRZ who killed uh, the last member. What was the team again? I forgot the name of the team. Q the confirm. only left here. Yeah, Q, Q confirm. confirm. Yeah, yeah, Q yeah. Confirm. yeah. So going back on the situation of EGA here, Kim Swag is still on the same location and he wasn't moving waiting for the. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Same as the next play, they are really uh, trying to secure their location. They are currently located on uh, different houses uh, as of the moment. So yeah, I guess. Well, mm -hmm. what They're might happen? Really okay, make we, got, sure. we got okay. We got confirmation here with a PNG, PCG. Oh my goodness! There's a lot yep. of kills right here. PCG, PCG and versus PNG. PNG. Well, I was kind of mixed up with PCG area, and PNG. Dr. Logi picking up a kill, but he was retaliated. So oh. PCG and PNG are still going at it. And we have oh. some bridge campers onto that edge of the bridge. Why do and I keep CGM, it was a team CGM, are being bridge camp here. And meanwhile, PCG and PNG in a very bad situation right now. The circle's closing. They're oh, there you go. They're initiating Conkoy. They're picking up one member. Hong Vodek was taken Ooh. down by Dr. Lodge. Retaliating <laughs> PNG is eliminated. That was fast. That was fast. And yep, they need to okay. move out now because the circle is closing and there's a lot of teams that are just waiting that, EGM. for them EGA, to arrive rather. or to cross. EGA are now gatekeeping that part of the mm -hmm. bridge. While Allens from Team C Gamers is the one who's trying to cross the bridge on foot. And somebody from MSC. Yeah. We'll see. That he, was really if far. Will he be successful. Look at this. <laughs> EGA is just waiting for his arrival. And EGA knows there's, uh, yeah. there's going to be a team that's, that will be crossing this bridge. And behind EGA, again, here, the team NXP. So what happened with Kim Swag here? Is he gone? The what? Sorry? Oh. Oh, my goodness. The one guy from team EGA? No. He, it was one guy. No, no, right. he, this uh, Kim Swag, he went okay. back. Okay. He backed yeah, out. he backed out. He backed out. He needs to get a backup with his teammates. For the guys who are mm -hmm. about to cross and the bridge coming from CGM. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, there was and also one guy of MSC. As well. mm -hmm. They have also spotted a position of Team MSC. And at the same time, CGM is having a very difficult situation trying to cross the bridge. We have Rossited. He heard those shots at the bridge. And now he was he spotted. the third party was being spotted he was first. Spotted first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And as you can see here, uh, Sleep from CGM is swimming. Uh, yeah, yeah, is trying to get into the shores. Okay, and let me try to check. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm... okay, there you go. Junkie BRZ was able to spot Sleep. 
and now taken out uh, of the game. So there's two players left here from the CGM, uh, which is uh, Pocoyo and Allens. Okay. Oh, my, Still have my, the same situation. My game is uh, kind of... Uh, wait up. Mm-hmm. Okay, there it is. Okay, I guess it's okay now. It's uh, not moving yet. Okay, just let me know. Uh, we'll do the second option then, just in case. It's okay, so while waiting for um for denim, okay, uh, let me give you some updates. Momo K of EGA is down as uh, as of the moment, and um. I guess uh, it's because of CGM. Okay, right now uh, CGM is look right now uh, currently located at the uh, under under the bridge. Okay, still the same thing. Location of next play is uh, there's no changes at all. Okay, checking game home. Actually, they already have their locations right now here. And on the other side, which is near Cap Alpha, um, Troll Game Gore of Team Curson is... Uh, actually, he's alone. Okay.
Go, go, go. All right, so we are back. Uh, we do apologize for the technical uh, technical difficulties right now, um, but we are going to take a look real quick. So we have here. Okay, there you go. Career I'm gaming again. We the twelve kills yeah. and the chicken dinner. Wow. What yep. do you expect guys. from this team who already qualified for the PGS? I mean, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And okay, Konaxi so... again with the most kills, six kills in total. Yep, exactly. So, uh, BRU uh, got the Witherin Chicken Dinner again. So, congratulations uh, for winning the game four. So, again, we do apologize for the uh, technical difficulties happened uh, a while ago. And yeah. we are about to uh, start and run the game five, yeah. which is going to be the last game uh, for this evening so we are going uh we will be right back and again this is tom sober sky and together with dennis and AG. And Steve. yeah and we will be See back guys. guys for game number five game number stay five. tuned all right yeah
ਸਕਦੇ Welcome back for the game number 5 and I we know that you guys are very much excited for the updated scores so we have Tom here that will deliver you the updated scores come on <laughs> Okay so right now uh, the updated scores of top 1 is BRU with 62 points followed by DIC 53 QC 29 points and MSC is 27 points EGA with 24 points, Divine 23, AG 21 points, Game Home with 19, CGM with 18 points. Um oops, okay. And PCG with 16, GBRU with 14 points, BOG with 13, CRS with 12 points. All right, there you go. We only get to get the tw- top 12 only, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. It's all good. I'll be top 12. That's top 12 after game 4 and we are now going into the game guys for you actually cut okay. off the hello hello. Yo. <laughs> You're right. So we are now down to the last game for tonight guys and we are here in the Miramar map. This is the biggest map of PUBG. So yeah, like I said earlier we're going to be Uh, witnessing a different kind of playstyle because here on the Miramar map you know it's a different terrain it's really uh different from the previous two maps that we have so yeah w- we are going to be expecting a lot of long range battle like some rotations as well from these teams so it's going to be a difficult one and the last game for tonight yeah so look at okay, that so, so the circle hasn't uh, appeared yet but it will be for mm-hmm. a moment uh meanwhile we got lot i think we got two teams going into picado by far one team on los leones and in comitera we got one team as well going in but by far we got uh we got to check here we got pcg yeah mm-hmm. uh, pcg and gabru here at uh, picado Uh, occupying so we have two teams yeah, two occupying teams. at Picado. We have PCG at the arena and uh, GA Brew at the casino. So probably this is going to be the early engagement that's going to happen in the next few minutes of this game number five. Yeah, this is a bigger chance of uh, interaction between these two teams. But we will see. We also got on that part which is the warehouse just outside Picado we have EGA Kill Swag. Okay, so uh, that is so far the closest teams by far. I'm going to check right now we're on to Kill Swag. Well, that let's just look at this. Everyone is still looting right now. Get here Konkai. But he might be spotted here by Pankill of Gabru. Now she's been heard now and he is going to the spot. Oh, look at that Pankill just shot oh, him. He's getting shots now Konkai. Oh, one more hit. Oh, just one more hit there. <laughs> oh my god. Good for him. He was able to get that cover though. He was just like too confident to get that Mirado vehicle. But yeah, it did cause him some damage to his life. So, he has some meds as you can yeah. see he was able to heal up. Now we got to look. Okay, so Oh, Roy, oh. Roy is not there with PCG. Yeah. Oh, Taking God. out of the game by Doc Juice. What did happen okay. by the way? Okay. So, the initiation now here at Pecado is I mean has already started and some rotations now being aggressive from Gabru and some PCG as well they're trying to group up and they lost one member already right yeah the gap for Gabru look at that PCG mm-hmm. look at this uh, PCG Kanka just made the rotation going going away and going back again to Picado is going at the back of Gabru or is he going to be looting this part of a uh, i don't know Okay, things are messing up. Triple Seven is trying to blow up that vehicle to immobilize the possible rotations yeah. of the other teams. 
Okay, so there's really not that much uh, of engagements right now. And uh, what what I can see here is Tim Curson, Ace Ajan, is uh, currently um, shooting uh, at Momoke yeah, of EGA. EGA. Mm -hmm. His card flipped. Uh, he d oh, that's okay. why. That is why. It flipped. Yeah, that's right. That so tells us the story. Momoke needs... Yeah. So let me try so... to take a look on the other. Okay, BRU. Yadi got Divine Nam Namsi out of the game. So let me try to take a look at oh, BRU. Again? BRU's now killing it again? Yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah. So let me... Oh, come on, boys. This is business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, as of the moment, okay, uh, I think they're trying to secure or to find, uh, like, a perfect spot for them uh, as of the moment. So, there's really no... Uh, there's no any gunfights happening. Oh, but right now, um, I think it's Ace Gene again from Team Curson. Uh, who is trying to shot some members of um, N God ability here and Q Swag? Um, okay, he tried to spot on uh, Ace Agen. Okay, but right now here in Los Leones, okay, there's some gunshots here, but I think there's no enemy near uh, seven four L one. Okay, so. See, uh, still the same EGA, Junki BRZ is shooting PCG 77. Okay, but oh, okay, he was able. Oh, all right, got out of ammo on the kill feed. We have Nikki taking down one member from Brew Gaming Nordra, he's eliminated and he's out. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, that would so, be... So, Buriram Gaming lost one member. So, this is <laughs> at least some, at somehow a good news for the other teams that they are... I mean, they lost one member for Team Buriram Gaming because, I mean, they were so superior from the previous that is games, right. Buriram Gaming. Especially game number three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of... There's you already have two chicken dinners, right? Yeah. For tonight. Yeah, that is all right. A lot of rotation actually is happening outside the circle. If you're gonna check out uh, yep, the west, right. west part of our circle, there's like a lot of teams going to the no to the south part. Yeah, that's right. And uh, CGM was uh, or is the first team uh, that was able to get inside of the circle in the south uh, part, followed by BOG, um, who. Uh, and they are currently have their own uh, vehicle, each of them, okay? And trying to get inside of the circle. Uh, however, I'm just one... Oh, okay, CGM is... Uh, remember, Wolf got down. Allens got down and got killed by AGDMG. Okay, that's Fortunately. CGM and uh, Armory. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We're kind of late about it. Yep, that's right. So I'm still checking for the other engagement. Um, it's the EGA is trying to still um, like shoot Kanka here uh, from PCG. It's just like uh, like long shots that is happening right now. But if you are going to check right now, I'm seeing here that PCG Duck Jules is near. Uh, I think there's um, going to be a lot of ha that confirm? might be happening. Mm -hmm. Can you confirm? Mm -hmm. Okay, we yeah, also that's have right. ongoing, we got DIC at the middle and PNG as well at the top portion or north part of our map. And look at this, there's a push by the way with PCG. Yep, that's right, and Gems. There's also Three. some rotation no. from MSC at the north, they're being gatekeeped by Team Game Home. So there's a lot of engagement actually that's happening at mm -hmm. the moment. Here. So I'm trying to check the map right now. Okay, Divine Levies is taking out of the game by Bru Iyadi and got Kobe by Conco. Uh, I mean Q, Q confirmed Gems uh, was killed by a grenade. 
Oh my. Joe Man so happy here taking down one from PCG. Kanka, he's out and he's trying to face the two members of Team PCG or make that three. Joe Man so happy he's alone here and he's trying oh, to get another one from but PCG, he but he was retaliated. He was just alone and he's out. Yep. Another That's one. right. So right now, um, if you're going to check again, uh, some of the members here of Q Confirm is already outside of the house. Whoa, and whoa, 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 a Jayers is down. Okay. And now SV is... It is turned. Going in. Okay. Ooh, okay there you go. There you go. Poseidon they are... just annihilated Q Confirm. Yep. Q Confirm is out. They are the first team to be eliminated on this game number five. Mm-hmm. In game home, they're still not finished yet with, yeah, with MSC. MSC. Even <laughs> look at yeah. what game homes are now doing. Look at this one. I think they're gonna deny themselves. They're going outside the play zone, and they're getting shot at from game home. But there's still like a player left uh, from MSC. That's Rosita Junior. Yeah, you see that. Or Jr. Now escaping. But with I a... think it is. Yeah. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. going away with a vehicle. Okay. And right now, um, I'm also seeing that Lost Soul Kahai Three was able to get inside of the zone, following by uh, uh, by his other teammates of uh, Freeza Lemon, Despicable, and Nami X Kaze. Okay. So they're here, as well. I think they're just uh, slowly peeking onto the location of PCG. PCG mm -hmm. are just, uh, I don't know, they're just distributing yeah. some ammos and some all of, all of such. Yeah. So what, what we got here? While Ghost that is happening, we have one member Ooh, from Gabru. But someone of PNG in. just behind him. Look at that. Gabru third party, yeah, third so party PCG PNG. here was <laughs> notified. <laughs> So third party after oh, third there party. Go. Oh, and the initiation now from down. Gabru taking down 777 from PCG. And we'll see. This is a very, very, uh, what you call this, long-range battle from the third party. And we have Gabru here that is very close to the position of Team PCG. And he spotted the Times 4 spray coming in from Whoa. the M4 of Vets. But it wasn't enough to take them down. So instead, he will be eliminated. Yes, that's right. So for now, what is the other? Um, okay, I'm seeing here C game, uh, CGM against uh, BOG. Uh, I'm checking right now. Pak Jot Bicep uh, is trying to. Is it right? With CGM okay, yeah. and a while ago, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, BOG a while ago, but right now, I guess uh, these like remain to the uh, to their position for a while because CRS is currently on the other side as well and I'm also uh, seeing here some long shots from JJ Leo uh, let me try to check here where the bullet came from okay it's all good oh, okay and right now team Carson Ace Agen is trying to shoot some of the members of EGA here Kim Swag and Momo K and let me see. Oh, next play is already inside of the zone. Okay. Let me check. We have also some. The, uh, look at those sprays coming from Brigham United, Canaxi. There was a one guy of. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where was it? Rusita, who was just passing by them, by the way. But Rusita mm -hmm. Jr. was and, not. And... I guess, was it? Ooh. Oh, he is, I think. Okay, Barira, so look Konexi. at that rotations from the teams that are outside of play zone. Yeah, they they're, were not expecting they were killing for outside that play, play zone. to go there. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. He's going for the for the final kill onto a one guy of S MSC, which is MSC Rosita Jr. But he's in. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see him. Where he's at? Okay, so I think it's the IC and PCG that is having a, a like gunfight right now. Um, I'm seeing here right now Smell. Um, looking at uh, some of the members here of PCG. Okay, waiting. Okay, no. Uh, smell. Uh, actually, he pushed back. 
I guess. Yep. And okay, there you go. Game home as well is trying to secure a position here near Picado. And uh, they were able to be spotted by Lost Soul. Okay, I think they're gonna go here on the L building uh, below Ooh. Picado. Okay, but there you go. Lost that speakable. <laughs> Uh, got uh, killed by Hung Vo Ditch. Hung by Vo Hung Ditch. Vo Ditch. What a beautiful name by PNG. Uh, PNG. PNG. Hung Vo Ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that name. I so love that name. Meanwhile, Dr. Loji Hill just arrived onto this warehouse. He grouped up with the Team PNG members. And on just on the north side, we have the team NXP. Is that NXP? Yeah, I think it, no? the north part. Okay, these are the uh, lost, uh, lost souls. Lost souls. Yeah. Yeah. And I did up to with it. And MSC, by the one guy of uh, MSC, is just making his rotations as well. I think it's mm -hmm. uh, the last yeah. guy, I guess, for MSC. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's the last guy, last guy for MSC. Okay. We got lost. Okay. And I'm seeing here that there's an engagement between CRS and AG as of the moment. And EGA and Game Home. We have also engagement from DIC and BRU. Look at Divine. The last one guy yeah, of Divine, Divine is Nikki. Nikki. He's just yeah, kind of sneaky, yeah, huh? He's doing his Nikki type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. Okay, give it away with that uh, vehicle. Will he make the okay. shot? Okay. He needs to spot one more. Look there at you that. go. All right. Whoa. Okay. He, got, he, he was almost down there as well. Yep, that's right. Oh, Getting first aid. Oh, my God. That was, uh, that was a revenge yeah. in behalf of Yeah, got Antoine. killed by 7-4-L1. Yep. So right now Ancon is down, but DIC Smell is about to rescue Anquan here with a vehicle. Um BRU is also having an engagement. It's an open uh, fire. And open fire for yep. BRU. The, they're on an open area here. At, uh, in between yep. or sandwiched by PCG, and that was it. Burium United and yeah. the last guy who got him it was coming from Dacus of PCG. That's right. Okay, so uh, Kong Koi is getting revived by his teammate. Uh, let me try to take a look on the uh, other engagement here. I'm seeing here that there is oh between CGM and uh, DIC Gaming together also with AG. Okay, so. This is a party right now, so two of the members of DIC is down, 74L1 and JJ Leo. And Pashu is getting the last now the or third the party. final kill. For the third party, yeah, we got Armory now, Gaming. Yep. They're trying to finish here, Pashu. And I think this is the end. They're trying to pick and check Pashu right now. And Pashu. Whoa. Is out. That was a good okay. kill come from Armory Gaming. Pro. Yep, that's right. So we also have a long shot or long uh long shots from CRS here. They're trying to shoot AG. Okay. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, let's try to focus to Oh MSC. Yeah, MSC is now yeah, he was eliminated by also. Zone. It was mm -hmm. but just that's by right. the play zone. Now lost between NOS mm -hmm. and next play. Got a lost mm -hmm. next play. Oh, taking those shots coming from game home. It was a third party between next play and lost. Oh, those yep, shots that's are right. really tough. Shots are being yep. shot. Oh, fired into the lost. There's a lot. Uh, there's like five different gunshots or engagements happening right now. As we're checking, yeah, uh, as we're checking the map, uh, I can see here that PCG and PNG are exchanging bullets. Uh, while CRS is shooting at PCG, game on. We also also have doing game our rotations moment. right now. Mm -hmm. So PGC needs to go inside of the zone already. However, they are kind of open here, and CRS uh, and EAG was able to spot them. Okay, and now we have the IC. 
but there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of lines here in my map and trying to check here the best uh position oh mananabas ph was able to kill lost nam x kaze okay but he is now moving back to their location and i think they're gonna do some gatekeeping here now tanawa the armory gaming checking on dic Anquan, and he just uh, finished him as well now he is also checking on dic smell if uh, he is trying yeah. to locate the icy smell of the woman, and he was seeing the icy smell here that is coming from Tanawat. It is a push right here coming from Armory Gaming, a full full squad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, That's right. On the and right, they got oh. their PCG. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, they didn't get the. Okay, they didn't get smell. I was able to survive. Getting some first aid kit, and they're trying to throw some grenades uh, to the house, but Smell was able to uh, survive. So, Pete, so one guy on the of other side, PCG is knocked by EGA. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. they are eliminated from the game. So we still have here um, in next play. Uh, one of them is down uh, as of the moment. I think that's Abdul um against lost and on the upper part or high uh high part of the map we have there the game home also who is trying to pick a uh, next play so we're gonna see if what will happen or who will win with this situation okay game home is receiving some crossfire from both teams here Okay, and now Yong Gao is knocked down by Martian Chun of CRS. Okay. Oh, Mananaba Speech is also down. Okay, I'm also checking the other teams here that could have a possible engagement. So far, it's only to the NXP, right? We also have CRS here. Maybe. And Game Home. Now, CRS and Game Home are on top to each other. And they're just still... Okay, smokes are everywhere, guys. Smokes are basically everywhere. And Game Home wanted to push because they are outside the zone. And unfortunately, they are receiving damages coming from CRS. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. And Game Home is... Uh, there's still like a team left. Yeah, that's MT who is down and DN uh, who is moving forward inside the zone. So I guess the only player left here from game home is DN. Dan. On the push, okay. we got here Martian Chun. Martian Chun taking on to one guy okay. left for game home. He is spotting him now. Oh, there you go. Yep. He spotted him he will and be mixed game up there, home is now out. That goes mm -hmm. to Team Kirsten. Yeah, game home is out of the uh, game, and right now you can see uh, on the other side. Um, okay, on the other side, there's still no engagement happening. However, um, going back to the same location, I can see here that next way is already moving forward. And let me see if CRS or Team Kirsten was able to spot them. And yes, it is. Uh, DA is trying to use uh, his SLR to shoot Abdul. Um, Okay, and Abdul received some damage, and then is he gonna be knocked out? Okay, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, also, there's a <sighs> shot coming from PNG onto Team Kirsten DA while he was spotting Abdul. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, let me see what would be there the rotation for right now because not... the next player is still outside of the zone, and CRS as well. Two, uh, three guys or two guys mm -hmm. of the CRS are also outside the zone. Only one guy who is still inside. And uh, look at this. Meanwhile, PNG and uh, Team EGA are taking on shots with each other, but they're being third party by DIC Smell, as well as, well as CRS Troll Gaming. Okay, we can yeah, hear Yeah, that's right. Thing. And I can see here AG got BOG Pakjat Bicep down. Okay. We still have um, K, -Neat, uh, K and YG here uh the only player left from boss gold trying to shoot ace agen 
uh at the top of uh is it like a house okay there you go boss gold is eliminated the place or the uh, the circle right now is kind of complicated and, and i think um crs has the advantage but they are currently um i think it's not the location is not gonna be let me see oh nope i think they also need to move in uh let me try to check other players here uh in png i'm seeing here that uh, there's also an engagement between ega uh but not that much active as what we are seeing here against nxp um who is currently engaging with CRS while CRS is also receiving some bullets from AG. Um, and actually CRS is doing some body system here. Um, like, oh, there you go. Martian tune is down as of the moment and getting revived by his teammate, uh, troll game gore. Okay, on the other side of uh, CRS, they are also trying to protect or um, use their advantage uh, against NXP. Okay, and let me treat. Uh, we got CRS versus Armory Gaming DMG. Now taking a push yep. on CRS. The only one guy here, yep, but right. one guy of Nent, uh, CR, rather of Armory Gaming is knocked. Nent is knocked. But uh, we got here DMG going in for a revive onto Nent. Mm -hmm. He needs this revive. Going as well That's with right. uh, Troll Gaming. He's kind of, look at this. Mm, His position right now. Oh, there. Oh, my. PNG is trying to change location with a vehicle right now. So there you go, which is Soha T got knocked down uh, by NXP. Vehicle just been blowed out by nxp and right now png is currently on a hard situation and kush and dr logi is the only player left um and there you go mananaba's ph is down okay there you go uh dr logi is the bear left narpin is down uh, how many players left? Okay, we still have Ebon Gaming here. That was a final kill. Uh, however, yeah. Next Predator Esports are now eliminated from the game. And suddenly, EGA comes in and PNG Dr. Logi is out. PNG is eliminated from the game as well. So, looking at the map right now, we still have AG here, which is now entering against EGA. Kim Sw uh, Q Swag is down as of the moment, so DMG is trying to make some move here and same as Tanawat. I think they're trying to throw some grenades or stun grenades, actually. So, let me see. And I can also see here that Pisces Pro is uh, holding the other side of the map. So, look at their uh, formation as of the moment. They're spread. It's kind of good. All right, we got here AG, by the way, where they're like uh, spread all over the west or southwest part of our map, of our mini map. Actually, it's already getting smaller right now. It's already phase mm -hmm. eight. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the circle is now moving in. So, this is now in favor of EGA. And the only yep, one guy right. who's left for the DIC is Smell. And uh, mm, the yeah. what makes it to be winning the winner in the chicken dinner, we just don't know it yet. But on advantage, as of the moment right now, we got EGA with a complete squad. This is a three versus a four versus three situation versus one. But DIC Smell mm. is not mm. doing anything as yet. Mm -hmm. Passes, exactly. Prices Pro is uh, so scouting on the right portion of their area. Yeah, that's right. Kimisu uh, got like a low damage, uh, but was able to uh, get some um, nets here. So they are up uh, again. And right now, I'm not sure, but EJ 
has an advantage as of the moment. Okay, so this is going to be the final circle. And the uh, blue zone is starting to move right now. So this is going to be a final countdown. And we don't know yet who is uh, like going to win with this one. So DMG is currently in front of Kim Swag, but was not able to be noticed. Kim, Kim Swag is doing prone here. Okay, there you go. Okay, he didn't shoot. Uh, let me try to check here. Smell is just proning. He's, he's just waiting. He knows that it's not going to be the right time. And as for checking the other teams, okay, they're still having engagement um, between EGA and AG. Okay, on the other side. There you go. Smell enters the game or party. So Bryce is out. EGA is eliminated. What? This is going to be like defeating a so this T versus one situation. Yes, that's right. So it was just a perfect timing and Whoa. for sure. There you go. That one kill. AG or Armor Gaming got the win with 12 kills in game five. Congratulations, Armory Gaming for winning the game five. Yeah, Armory Gaming got it. The... But DIC smell is really good. Uh, he got the perfect timing uh, uh, when he enters uh, the party and he shoots some of the members of uh, the other one. What was the other one uh, on the other side against uh, AG? Okay, so that was it, guys. Amory <laughs> Gaming just got it. Winner win the chicken there for fifth game. Oh, <laughs> it's just fifth game. Yeah. DIC on a second and then. Uh, look at this uh, PNG on four. Third is we got here. Uh, what's a uh, Kimisu? I uh, forgot Kimiswag. I think this was uh, the PNG. <clears throat> Just correct me if I'm wrong about it because I don't see any team names on the score sheets or the final scores for tonight. Anyway, the, the scores will be forwarded. And tomorrow, guys, don't forget it. Uh, the teams who will be. Who will be playing tomorrow with P2? <clears throat> okay, P2. Mm -hmm. Dogs, got number one, one, uh, one play, uh, I mean, one, one team, rather. Sorry for that. One team will be coming from uh, the Philippines, Dogs, as well as Angel Alliance and Gamers Lounge. That's, that is from the Philippines. Now from uh, Vietnam, we have Cham Esports. Only Cham Esports now from Thailand. Golden Cat. Golden Cat is also a qualifier for the PGS. And uh, wait up. Golden Cat and Victim FTF from Indonesia. And Friendly Fire Gaming of Malaysia. And as well, Merlin Moore of Thailand. Concentrate PUBG as well of coming from Thailand. Team Hype from Mongolia. BCS Raven from Indonesia. And whoa, we got players from, from Australia. Uh, what would be their ping if they're going to be playing on Southeast Asia? But who knows, guys? That's a TNG. Ow. And uh, Ice mm -hmm. and Titans will be coming from uh, Singapore. And as well, coming from Australia as well, we got at, at, uh, what's it? Atletico, Atletico Esports. And last but not least, we still got Day Trade Gaming of Thailand. And last but not the least, PMA of Malaysia. So watch out for it, or for it, guys. Tomorrow, we will be back for another five games. Same as what we had just today. But tomorrow is going to be also exciting, just like, just like what we had today. And after a couple, have you forwarded the scores already? Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to like add this one. Uh, okay, you may go ahead and I guess uh, Ray was not able to see my screenshot because whenever I'm doing some screenshot, it's always like the two monitors here. Okay, it's okay. Anyway, just so let me try to manage it as well. So that is the final game, guys. That is uh, game number five. 
And I I don't know what happened to Ant's day. He went offline. I don't know what happened. Maybe he was onto something. He was just arranging something. Yep. Or anyway. But this is still. I'm still here. I am Dead in 7 AG. And with me. And this is Tom Sober Sky, and in behalf of gaming, we also have here Ants Dave, uh, and we are the casters for tonight's game. And stay safe, guys. Yeah, Thank always, you very much for stay watching. Safe. Meanwhile, I'll be showing to you the scores after a couple of minutes or seconds. Uh, this uh, the scores you might get the scores ahead. Okay, so yeah, because we're kind of delayed a bit. Not a bit. I've been. It's, it's like been three, three minutes. Or oh, yeah, I think it, it was uh, now three minutes delay. Okay, so we will be waiting for it just a little bit longer, and we are just right here with you guys. Thank you very much. All right, we are now back to the results, guys. Look at those scores. Buriram United got 65 points. And right up to next to them, that's a DIC Gaming with 61 points. If if Buriram United weren't, we were like surviving up to the end of the game, I don't know, guys. The scores would really climb up as far as they could. But... Um, Everyone has won them. They are a this is a competition basically. So they are they are being hunted by everyone else. And DIC gaming <laughs> coming on second, that's uh, 61 points. And right up next, we got their armory gaming with 43. And got ability got 33. Q confirm got 30. Team Kirsten got 27. MSC uh the Wrath got 27 as well. And Game How Game Home. Esports got 24. PCG got 24. Divine Esports got 24. CGM Wolf got 20. And last but not least, who will be qualifying for the 12th spot for the round two? Next play, Predators. And they did manage to. Yeah, yeah they managed to climb up to that stair. Like that for the game one, there were like after game one, there were uh, 16 plays or game two rather. I think it was the game two that where we saw that uh, they were on 16th place, but they managed to score, get scores, get kills during our final round, and they did climb up to the 12th place. And again, guys, 
tomorrow p2 will be right will be coming up tomorrow so watch out don't forget to follow or i mean uh subscribe to the youtube channel of gaming.net exactly right. that's right and if you wanted to be updated as well uh to the results or if you want to get more info about the game or upcoming game uh please don't forget as well to visit our website that triple w.gaming.net yeah that is all right so again we really thank each and every one of you guys who, who tried to i mean to look watch the the uh the live here at youtube even until the end part of time okay <laughs> part of time this is not it this is our time for tonight for anyway thank you so much everyone this is again denim 78 g and this is tom sober sky and we would like to see you all again tomorrow bye bye guys